All right, three, two, one, and we're live. Welcome once again to HeroQuest fans. Just got to mute it. Okay, so we're playing an ad right now. Um, we're going to be starting uh, here shortly. I have a special guest with me here on HeroQuest fans. Join us on Discord. Do my Montalto. Pretty cool guy. He's uh, broken a lot of news on our site, and he's going to be playing a quest with us. So you can go ahead and introduce yourself. Good evening, everyone. I'm Domi Montalto. I'm from Italy, but I moved in the US in 2020. And, uh, you know, I discovered recently like, about HeroQuest. Hmm. To you and some other YouTubers, and uh, I fell in love with the game, you know? I, I love the game. I actually nice. covered the, the game from another game that my cousin had. I believe that its name is The Legend of Zarkin, because in Italian is uh, Legend of Zarkin. And so it was an interesting game, and then years later my cousin discovered that there was like Hero Quest. <laughs> and so I saw a little bit of that, but when I was in Italy I saw that it was the 20, 20, 2021 like, re-release, but I wasn't able to, to get one. I was trying to get the music tier, but uh, it was too late. And then when I moved here, I I was looking for one, and they are crazy expensive on the on eBay. So yes, it, it was hard to find one, but I finally found one for cheap, and I got it. Nice, nice. Yeah, well, that's really cool. I I've heard of that other game that you mentioned. I I didn't know about it until maybe like the last year. Yeah, it's really close to let the. It looks like the Legend of Zargon, and I thought, what? <laughs> it's Zargon, but it's it's like Z Zagron or Zagon or something. It's like really close to that. Yeah, it, it's very Zagor. similar name. Zagor. It, is this the one where it talks to you? Like the game has yeah, like a yeah, exactly right. Yeah, phrases. Yeah. That's cool. So Man, fighting I the computer. When I was, yeah, I was like. 10 or 12 and my cousin had that game and we played so many hours it's right. pretty fun now was it a was it a difficult game do you think or was it pretty pretty easy compared to hero quest it, it was not that hard like you could have failed but mostly of the time if you had like the people that knew how to play mm -hmm. you know it was pretty pretty easy that's cool. Yeah, there's there's so many other games of that era. Yeah, Legend of Zagor, or whatever it's called, um, Dark World, uh, Dragon Strike, um, Dungeon, uh, of course, Dungeons and Dragons. Um, but yeah, several other games that maybe weren't as well known or as well advertised, at least in the U.S. It's interesting. I didn't know your story before you told it there. So you came to the <laughs> U.S. and. Um, <laughs> So, so you didn't really have HeroQuest back in the day, but you have it now. Is that right? No, my cousin had it. He oh, bought yeah. the, the Legend of Zargon once. Then, like, ten years later, I f he found another one, like, covered in dust, and the price was still in lira, the coin, mm -hmm. like, the currency that we had before Euro in Italy. And yeah. so he bought it again. He made a huge, like, map with it, and we played it. Then he discovered about... Um, Hero Quest. He bought Hero Quest, but I have never had Hero Quest before. So yeah, th this yeah. version is the first time for me. That's cool. Well, and I know a lot of people missed out on the Mythic tier. A lot of people were upset because they were waiting for it, like, and then as soon as they found out about it, it was already too late. So I'm glad it came to retail, and now it's going around the world. So, because I think Italy, yeah, Italy definitely was one of the countries that had the classic version. And so now you're getting it back. I'm not yeah. sure if the rules were different, if they were more like the European rules. I'm guessing. Yeah, so. they were definitely like the European right. rules. And the, like I saw the character pad. And the, yeah, the yeah. one that we had in Italian was the same as the UK. It was uh, not, yes. They didn't yeah. look like the US one. That's right. Okay. Well, it's cool to finally have you on here. I think you and I have. have talked back and forth quite a few times but yeah finally hearing you oh and we've got jacer j in the chat uh how do i share this into 
Discord found it upper right on mobile. Um, if you can take us, well, do my Montalto. Do you know how to do mobile stuff on the chat? Uh, no, really. Sorry, sorry, Jacer. Um, yeah. So what we were gonna do is we we're gonna do the play test here, and it's cool to have people in the chat too because those people, of course, um, since this is Twitch. Uh, you can use your channel points, your gold coins, to buy stuff for the hero or for Zargon as we play. So we are going to be playing another Frozen Horror Adventure. This time, what we've decided, and this was, I think this was your idea, do my Montalto, um, to try to do a play test with their yeah. suggested rules. You know, yeah. 20 personally, years later. Yeah, personally, I don't love, like, homebrew stuff. Homebrew stuff, so... I just wanted to try like, think that they suggested and see if they actually yeah. work. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, because this was, I mean, I've expressed myself quite a bit on this topic, so I won't take up the time. But yeah, the idea that something had to be done. So either we're going to make it up or they're going to give us some suggestions. But okay. All right. So what we'll do is we'll, the story so far. Um... Okay, let me just pull up. You can't see this, but that's that's all right. That's by design. So this is online quest number two, the Frozen Horror Prelude into the Northlands. Hero, heed well my words, for this journey north has already been fraught with peril, and I sense an arduous ordeal in your future. The pages of lore tome tell of a frozen labyrinth of ice ahead. The maze protects an ancient artic excuse me, an ancient artifact of power. It promises to be a welcome treasure if you possess the courage to wrest it from Zargon's foul minions within. A dangerous task indeed, but take heart, because you are not alone. Snowdasher the wolf has been sharing your food and warmth on these icy days. Feels a kinship to you. I sense a keen intellect in that beast, and I believe she will fight by your side in the trial to come, as her path mirrors your own. Alright, so you will take on the role of the mighty barbarian. That's and just cool. Just in the uh, spirit of things, uh, let's see. Since I don't yet have the new Frozen Horror, you'll be using the... Uh, I've made a proxy of the female barbarian from the original game. It's pretty similar other than the horns. Uh, this is actually a Reaper Mini, so pretty cool, I thought. And let's see. The wolf will be represented by this tile here. I know they said to use the Zargon tile, but, or I mean, the, this thing, the Seal of Mentor, but I'm using that as a turn marker, so I'll just use that. So that's the Wolf, Snow Dasher, and let me just pull up some stuff to show you here. Oops. Okay. Uh, okay, so there's the Wolf Ally, if you can see that on your screen. Yep, I can see it. Okay, so three attack, two defense. Can attack diagonally. Five body, mm -hmm. one mind. Mm -hmm. Wolf is a faithful animal ally. They can be recruited at no cost to accompany a hero on a solo quest before the quest begins. A hero may also recruit an animal ally to join them on a group quest if there are fewer than four hero characters. Perfect. So, again, about the diagonal attack. If I open a door and I stay on a door, like I don't yes. move, I just open it, can the wolf attack the enemy on the other side of the door yes just okay. as just like if you had a diagonal weapon it's the same okay, perfect. same idea so let's see here. not trying to strategize there <laughs> well <laughs> since you're gonna be by yourself at the start, start. <laughs> i was gonna say but since you're by yourself at the start it's, it's okay to strategize now the people in the chat if you have suggestions for him go ahead and jump in and we'll see how long this adventure takes if we've got extra time because we did block out from six to ten um we can always jump in and try to finish the glacier gate uh quest four and i figure anything that you gather on this quest will be uh paid forward to the uh to the heroes in the next quest so Great. it should be good unfortunately be. i have to go at nine. Oh, but oh. okay we, well we, we can play it on that we've got some time till then yeah, and I think Strange Bus may or may not be joining us. Um, he's had to kind of recover, but he might mm -hmm. join us later. And that's cool. Okay, so uh, beginning of the quest, 
you okay so you are the barbarian um if you want to make yourself a little character sheet or just remember i don't know how you like to do it yeah just give me one sec let All me right. get some paper yeah do you have your own dice too or do you want me to roll for you well while he's getting that i'll get set up here so you can see that i've already got some stuff on the on the board but we're just going to ignore that for now We'll just kind of adjust as needed, because I didn't want to have to set up twice if I didn't have to. Hey, I'm back. Okay, and I forgot to ask you, do you do you have your own dice, or do you want me to roll for you? Um, I have my own dice, oh, cool. if you want. I just need a second, because I have to... I bought, bought this huge box that contains all my mythic tier and... That, uh. um, the other miniatures, the commander of the Guardian Knight, but with that ah. same to yeah, open everything. Wow. Hey. Okay. I got it. Excellent. All right. So you start in this frozen waste. You make your way to the door. And where's that little wolf behind you? All right. Can you see that all right? Or should I zoom in? It's perfect. Okay. All right, your turn begins. So we want to... Since... Uh, oh, yeah, we're, we're doing their rules. So with the um, unthreatened movement, that means you move four squares per red die that you'd normally mm -hmm. use. So you have eight. You can move up to eight squares. And you just have your starting weapons right now. Your broadsword is three attack. Mm -hmm. You have your two base defense, eight body, two mind. So it's three, two... And then three attack to defend. Yes. Eight and two, right? Yes. So you can move up to eight squares, but what will you do? Uh, I'll prefer to just um, go one and search for traps. Okay, so you're going into opening the door? Yep. Yeah. Opening the iron door. All right. In the uh, draft notes, they said that these should be refrigerator doors. <laughs> or freezer doors, I guess. So you open the door, and before you have a chance to search for traps, you notice oh. a closed door here. Oh yeah, I can get rid of the countdown timer. Alright. Uh, so for now, let's see, that is all you can see. And you're searching for traps. Yep. Uh, you sense danger in the area, but you're not quite mm. able to pick it out. Sorry, that's a house rule. Actually, I shouldn't say anything at all. So I okay. guess I just gave you that. <laughs> From now on, I won't do that. Because okay. we're just because just for everyone that's watching right now, we're trying to just use um, Avalon Hill's suggested rules as opposed to my homebrew rules that we've been using. Okay. Unless so totally I guess the, I guess that there's a trap, but I really don't know about it. <laughs> Well, now you've got the wolf to move. Hey, um, I, I guess I'm going to to move uh, only two square for the wolf because I don't want him to like, get it into a trap if there's a trap. Yeah. I'll prefer to to take the damage yeah. instead of killing the the wolf. You know? Yeah, such a hero. All right. Okay, so um, I guess the wolf really can't do any other actions except for attacking. Yeah. Um, okay. All right, it's my turn. There's no monsters. Can't do anything. So back to you. So this time I'll go towards the door. I can move eight automatically, right? Yes. Okay. One, yep. Two, so three. I'll go towards the door. All right. Are you opening the door? Yep. Excellent. All right, so you open the door and let's see what you see in here. Are you familiar with ice gremlins? Uh, yeah, but right. I've never played the uh, the Frozen Horror before, but I bought one, actually bought two, and I read 
the the monsters, so I know what they do. Uh, so you uh, you studied them in Mentor's library before you set forth on the quest. I see. So anyway, <laughs> exactly. there is there is one uh, ice gremlin in the room. Hey. You should see him momentarily. And I think you can also see. Let me just reference this because this is a little bit different than what I've used to. Okay, I guess so. All right, so you also see um, what appears to be the opening to an ice tunnel next to him. Okay. Is it like on his right? Yes, it's on his right. Okay. There. So I think that... There's a slight delay. Okay, perfect. Now I see. Uh, yeah, I'll try to go in front of the ice gremlin and attack okay so you went one two three four five six like this one two three uh there's a, a delay so i can't yeah are you going like along the wall yeah yeah okay all right, because it's like depending on which way you went, it's like oh yeah, you yeah. fell into about sixteen different <laughs> traps there. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna attack him. All right, do you have your combat dice? Yeah. All right, too bad we Attacking don't have a video. Three. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, only one skull. One skull. Yep, we're doing it on the honor system. Okay, one skull. So he defends with let's see three. <laughs> all right um he got one um yeah you can't see that one black shield Ching. Oh, dang it. i'm i'm playing right now like um killer's keep and so i'm used to goblins you know they're not that very mm -hmm. strong so yeah. this is already very challenging okay yeah despite oh. their despite their small size the ice gremlins yeah. are pretty strong and remember, they can steal. They can steal gear as well. So, uh, I guess it's your wolf's turn. So I don't know. Yeah. I, I feel like giving you a suggestion, but maybe I should keep my mouth shut. <laughs> if I didn't know about anything, I would have put like the wolf close to me and try to attack diagonally. Ah. One, two. Three, four, five. How many? How many squares did I say? The wolf. Yeah. Let me open it. Okay. Um. Ten. Yes. Yeah, so there's no problem. Boom. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I just didn't have the right window open. There we go. Okay. What I ought to do is... Yeah, I have a, a handheld camera. Mm -hmm. So it's not quite ideal, but... Oh, that's way too close. Okay. So the wolf is attacking with two. Three. Oh, only two? No, you're right. It's... It is three. It is three. You're it... right. It defends with two, yeah. Yeah, I, okay. I got a reverse. Let's see. Only one. Okay. And. No defense. So he took one damage. They have three body points, right? That's right. Okay. Oh. My turn. I guess that it's your turn now. Oh. Okay, let me just put this somewhere. Hope that doesn't like fall down and scare everybody. Okay. Uh okay, so the ice gremlin. See the problem is you have nothing to steal. <laughs> yeah. Just starting out. Oh, so <laughs> 
Um, I get. Oh, I know what I could do. Because I don't think going through the ice tunnel is an action. So I can attack you and then run away. Hero Monster Land with this. Immediately moves to the other entrance. Alright, so he's going to attack the Barbarian with three. Mm -hmm. Three skulls. Man, that's hard. Okay, I defend with two. Have two shields. Ranching, so you lose one body point. So yeah. you're down to seven. Yeah. Already feeling the uh, difficulty. Oh, this is the first monster. <laughs> I'm ready. Losing body points. Yep. Well, Avalon Hill, I hope you're taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's, I mean, it's lucky the draw. You could get great rolls the whole game or terrible. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so I attacked you, and then I'm going to uh, move through the tunnel. Let me Ooh, see. Okay. see what I have to do. Anyone these immediately moves. Okay. And you don't see where he went. <laughs> he disappear. Okay. He was wounded, so he oh. fled. Okay. Yeah. Your turn, barbarian. Okay, what do I want to do now? Uh, uh, so he can't move like while I, I don't see him, right? Even though he moved away. Like, well, he, he went. He went down through the ice tunnel, so he went into another part mm -hmm. of the map. So I mean, you could follow mm -hmm. him, try to chase after him. If I like waste one turn uh, trying for searching for treasure, can he move? On the other side of the tunnel. Well, he's as far. Yeah, it's a good point. As far as we know, he's off. I can't move him because uh, you guys can't see him. So it's, okay. it's kind of a weird situation. It's like, yeah, should should he reveal the next room that he went into? Technically not. So yeah. okay. I guess I could pull him back through <laughs> on the next turn to attack oh. you. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I mean, I guess that uh, makes sense. Okay. But as far as you're right now, the room is empty of monsters, so you can search it safely. Okay, let's tr let's try this. I, I I search for for treasure. Search for treasure. Okay. Get out the uh, treasure deck. Oh, it's my camera. Hazard. While searching, a hidden oh. arrow shoots from the wall and strikes you. You lose one body point. Your turn is over. Well, <laughs> those are the breaks. That's not great, but whatever. The wolf. There's nothing that the wolf can do, and so I guess that it's Zargon's turn again, right? Unless the unless the wolf wants to go through the ice tunnel. It's your call. No, I prefer not. I prefer not. Okay. I'm not gonna send him along. Send him into danger. Okay, my turn. All right, I'm gonna bring the cra crafty ice goblin back through the ice tunnel. And move over to attack the barbarian once again. Hey. This feels challenging, like. Mm-hmm. Uh, one skull oh. only. Okay. Barbarian yeah. defense with two, so. Yeah. No shields, so. I take the, take the damage. So you're down to five. Uh. Yep. Because you took the hazard damage and then the. Yeah, one, I had one. eight, and then uh, the Ice Gremlin did one damage. So I go. Okay. But the good part yeah. is, it's your turn now. Because I wasted my movement to get get back to you. Mhm. Mm okay. So I guess the 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 barbarian is going to attack the ice cream. Room. All right. And see 
Wow. Okay, only one skull. I did it. Squidge is in, or should be. Oh yeah, I should acknowledge the other people in the chat. Welcome to uh, Elverg. Welcome to Lara Craft and Savage Sully, new person. Welcome. So yeah, we are playing Into the Northlands with Dumai Montalto. So this is the prelude to the Frozen Horror using Avalon Hill's suggested uh, playtesting rules instead of my own. And I thought it was going to be easier than that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one, one, one more damage was scored against the Ice Gremlin. Okay, okay. So he's okay. down to, now it's the wolf's turn. Okay, so the wolf is going to attack with three. Alrighty. Only one again. Not a great day today. Whoops. Cockeyed. Nope, nothing. So you s killed the uh, ice gremlin. Or rather, the wolf did. Hey. Cr crunchy snack. Alright. Now the wolf still has movement. Well, let me switch cameras. <laughs> okay, so wolf but still I has prefer... movement. Yeah, I, I prefer to go yeah. in front, like well, first with the barbarian. Yeah, and, and I should realize that you have played before, so I don't have to like teach you your options. <laughs> I'll keep my mouth shut. Alright, <laughs> what's next? Okay, so I guess that I'm going to move uh, with the Barbarian. Uh, I'll go inside the ice tunnel and see where it goes. Alright. Okay, so you move to the ice tunnel. Dun -dun 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 -dun. And you appear on the opposite side of the tunnel. And it leads you... If I'm reading this correctly... Up here. And right away, you see some things. So you see okay. right next to you a stone wall. And you also see a closed door right next to you. Now, moving through it didn't use up any any uh, move. Well, I'll just use the one movement. Let's see, one, two. So you've got two. So you've got your remaining six. Using the unthreatened movement rule that they suggested. Okay, so yeah, I guess that I'm going uh, towards the door and I'll open it. Okay. Five, whoops, Just dragging it with you. Five. Revealing everything inside. So we got a door here, a door here. Adjust the camera. There, so you got your two doors. Mm -hmm. And at the present, that's all you can see. Okay. So I guess that I'm going to move one more square and search for traps. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and mark them for you. This square looks dangerous. And the square next to it looks dangerous. Normally I wouldn't do this, it's just that it's so much easier. Mm -hmm. And there's one yeah. more square that looks dangerous. There's some delay, so I can't see when you point the finger. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> it makes it easier for Zargon. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, some, there's some danger in the room. Uh, hope you die. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, so those... The quest is already changed, you Yeah. Okay. Now, people in the chat can use their gold coins to buy you stuff, so if you want to buy them a healing potion or something like that... Uh, that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get the crowd on okay, the side. Uh, so I have five more movements or something like that. 
Ah, Savage Sully did a did a cheer. Thanks. That was pretty cool. I think that's maybe the first time anybody's used a, che a cheer in our chat. I'm yeah, not I've sure. I've never seen this before. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can do. Uh, I'm gonna try to see if this does anything. <laughs> Yeah, I did the ole, 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 ole. <laughs> okay, so we got you a potion. Nice. Okay. Already you're making friends. Uh, That's good. I, I need them. <laughs> influencing allies. Yeah. All right. Uh, potion deck is here somewhere. After a while, you start to amass so many potions. Now, the... I'm still going to do the Twitch stuff, even though these are not Avalon Hills rules. These are my rules. So this this is just the participation part of things. So hope you don't mind. <laughs> not going to object. All right. So we got it, our... It's fine. I need help. <laughs> yeah. All right. Potion of Alchemy. I approve this. In the corner of the room, you stumble across... Wow, it's hard to see. You stumble across a worn pot containing a dull paste. If you spread this paste over one item of equipment, it turns to gold and is worth 100 gold coins. Well, it's not healing, but... It's something. <laughs> Jace or Jay is like, and you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> and you're dead. Nah. <laughs> the potion of, potion of uh, hero explodes. It's like, what? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> okay, so anyway, um, you've... you've uh, you search the room and you discover that those three squares that you should be able to see mm -hmm. are yep. dangerous. Okay. Or they look That's dangerous, it. I should say. So I'll guess that I'm gonna move the, the wolf as close as the um, door on the left as set, possible. Set off all the mines. Okay, so going through the ice tunnel. Yeah, going through um, the tunnel. To okay, so the wolf is now behind you in the doorway. Okay, uh, he can step forward and go towards the door Six, on the seven, left. Eight, nine. Without opening. Yep. Yeah, because he can't open a door. He's just yep. he just paws at it and kind of sniffs at it. He does the little like hunting dog like pointer like. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I, I would like to move him like one down diagonally. Ah, strategery, strategically yeah. positioned. Excellent. Okay. All right. Since there are no monsters, it's yeah. back to you, barbarian. Okay. So I guess the the barbarian is going to go towards the door, and he is going to open. She is going to open it. One, two, three. All right, now I gotta reveal what's on the other side. Okay, you're startled to see there is a uh, a room with. Uh, why is it so big? Oh, I guess it's off center. Yeah. Anyway, there's a big room with uh, a big cage, and inside the cage there is a polar war bear. <laughs> it appears to be uh, an old uh, polar war bear inside. And even though even though you the miniature is holding a spiked club, it doesn't actually have one. It's just okay. kind of hunkered in there. But he's in the gate. It's he can't attack me, right? Well, it, he appears to be inside the cage. Okay, he's inside the cage. Okay, I don't know why he is there, but I guess I am going to move forward. And I'm going to look for traps and see if there's something there. You're not able to search for traps because of the presence of a monster. However, oh, yeah. Yeah. hey, Macho Man Randy Savage, um, we uh, we do have 
a uh, so there's something on the wall next to you. It looks like a lever. It appears that the lever is connected to the the door on the uh, cage. Uh, well, I can open the door. One second. <laughs> I misspelled. So Savage Sully subscribed. That's why I heard Macho Man Randy Savage say, "Oh yeah." And I thought it was funny because it's Savage Sully, Randy Savage. And I misspelled Sugly. Okay. So yeah, if you want to throw the switch to open the, tra the trap's door, you can. Uh, yeah, I I'll do it. Uh... All right. You, you open the, you throw the switch. You know, the rusted, you know, bolts slide over. Polar war bear steps forward, gets right in your face. It's like, you know, <laughs> just kind of like stares at you and then, and then walks by. Okay. Three, four, Sorry. five, six, seven. Uh, six. Yeah. All right. Just seems to be seems to be heading out of the room. Okay. All right. I don't turn. know what, what is going on, but yeah. Mm -hmm. I Whatever. guess uh, I guess the polar war bear shouldn't have passed through the wolf, but let's just pretend that one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Anyway, the monster doesn't seem to be interested in either of you. Okay. He is not interested in us. So let's move the wolf close to, to the other door. Okay. Around the trap? Yeah. One, course, yeah. two, three. No, like always, not in front of the door, but diagonal. Oh. Like on the side. Yeah. There should be some animal that uh, is really good at disarming traps. Maybe like a raccoon or something. <laughs> <I'm> trying to <laughs> think. All right. Okay. Um, hey. My turn. So the monster. Yeah. Without even looking over its shoulder, it keeps on going. One, two, goes through the tunnel. Three, four, five, six. Looks like it's heading towards the exit. Okay. <laughs> He's going somewhere. All right. Barbarian. Mighty Barbarian. Okay. I guess that the barbarian is going towards the door, like avoiding the um, danger. Okay, so Savage Sully's asking on the status so far. So we are playing Into the Northlands, a prelude to The Frozen Horror by Doug Hopkins from Avalon Hill. And we're using their suggested house rules. So Barbarian, being controlled by Doom Montalto, had eight body points and he's down to five. And then Wolf has five of five body. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, sorry. Repeat uh, your movement there. Okay. So, yeah, I just want to go towards the other door. Okay. Avoiding the One, the two, danger. three, four, five. All right. And, yeah, I would like to. To open the door. So right. what's that? You can just pretend that that isn't there. That's from the other quest. I'll just move, get rid of these for the moment. See if I if I uh, had two boards, that's what I would be doing. I would have like a whole room full of boards, and I could have different games going on at once. <laughs> All right. So you open up the door. We're actually making fairly good time, I think, this time. Okay, so you open the door. Let's see, do you see anything? Ah, uh, yes, you do see something. Through the doorway, you see a double okay. blocked square above. Mm-hmm. And across the way, you can see a closed door here. Your vision is very good, so you can actually see a stone block right at the edge. 
right there. It's all shiny. Okay, so <laughs> I'll move one forward towards the corridor and I'll search for traps. Let's see if there's any trap there. Okay. Um, no traps. Okay, no traps in the corridor. So I guess that the, the wolf is going to go towards the closed door, but like always, not in front of the door, but One, two, three, on the four. on the right of the door. Above or below? Uh, below. Right. Okay, there's a uh, monster's turn. One, two, three. And the polar war bear has gone off into the the icy mists. Mm. Okay. Well, I guess that the barbarian is going to go towards the, towards the door and then going to open it. One, two, three. Alright, immediately you see a doorway at the top. Mm -hmm. And you also see another ice gremlin. Okay. Here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to adjust the camera. And you also see um, a little uh, stone alcove, and there's another ice gremlin hiding next to it. Hey. Hmm. Maybe there is a little bit of delay. Yes. Yeah. So the barbarian is going, going to go towards the ice cream lid. That is south. Okay. And yeah, he's going to face him and attack. All right. Right. Go ahead, roll one ready. Hey. Two this time. Two skulls. Two okay. skulls. Yeah. Uh ching ching. I got two <sighs> believe it or not, two monster shields. Oh. Uh, okay. okay. Oh. So the wolf is going to help. Help me. He's going to go diagonally and attack diagonally, I guess. Like this? There like so? Some like delay, but... Yeah, I, I placed the wolf above you. Is that where you want her to be? Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. Okay. Yep. Go ahead and roll your dice. Let's see. Only one. One skull. Did I miss the skill card? Uh, J Sir J has is mentioning something to me. If I did, I apologize. Let me just check here. Because I drew the potion. Oh. Well, I'm looking at the wrong screen. Excuse me. Wow, so they changed everything on me here. Um, where's the queue? I'm sorry, folks. It's uh, a little bit different than I remember. Mm. He's thinking that somebody bought something for you. Skill card. 
or Ixtiquan. oh or or no wait a minute wait a minute is he talking about the fact that the barbarian okay let me look does he get a skill card i see we sure enough a yep skill card. okay i apologize for that thank you great job okay so we gotta get him a skill card so now i was not using under my house rules normally you would get two at the start but since mm -hmm. uh they don't mention it we'll just we'll, we will draw the one that you got hidden reserves drawing on hidden reserves of endurance you shrug off wounds and might kill lesser men play this card to immediately heal two body points of damage now you can keep this and use it when you need it okay Excellent. Okay, sorry about that, like Jason. Potion of healing for only two body points, right? Two body points, yeah. Perfect. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, okay. So the what did the wolf get as far as uh, attack? Two. Two. Okay. Yeah. Sully cheered again. Wow. Nicely done. Uh, I guess we'll have to play a little something for you. Thank you, guys. I really need it. <laughs> yeah, they're cheering for you. <laughs> oh. okay. <laughs> okay, great. Don't uh, don't spend too much money here today. <laughs> All right, um, cool. Okay, so kind of got lost in the the excitement there. Um, so there was no defense to that. So the monster took two damage. But unfortunately, he has three body points. Right, he's still alive. Mm. He's a little melted, but he's still alive. They are almost as strong as the uh, abomination. It's the abomination, I think, that has three attack, well, three, def three yeah. defend, and three buff. Yeah. yeah. It's three, three, two. They are strong. All right. Ah. My computer's doing weird stuff. Okay. All right, wolf. Or what's No, the wolf or that was the wolf, yeah, that, right? That okay. was the wolf. That I'm was. Sorry. Yeah, cuz you missed. Okay. My turn. Uh, Ooh. Yeah. Oh man. Um, let's see. That first ice gremlin is going to steal your potion of alchemy and run away. One, two, uh, three, four, five, six, about it. seven, eight, nine, ten. But you can still see him, so he's still visible. Okay. You That's have a chance good. to try to chase him down. That means that if I kill it, I will get my potion back. That's right. right. That's right. Okay. okay, and then the other one. One, two, three. He's going to attack the wolf. And the wolf defends with two. two. Okay. Ooh, two skulls. Oh man. Only one shield. Ooh. Okay, so the wolf has taken one damage. Yeah. It's down to four. Four. Oh. I'm not gonna put a skull underneath it. Okay. All right, your turn, mighty hey, barbarian. I guess the the barbarian really oh, he's blocking the door. Okay, you got to roll to move now. <laughs> yeah, and I would like I like to go towards the ice gremlin that has my potion, but I can't because there's the other one that is mm -hmm. blocking the door. For 
working together. Ah, <laughs> uh, so I guess that the barbarian is only going to move one and go into attack. Okay, I'm sure you would have rolled at least a one. Yeah. All right. All right, let's see what you get. Okay. Ooh. Okay, that's it. Attacking with three. Ooh, three out of three this time. That's good. Uh, one, one black shield, ching, and then he gets hit by two more, so he's not quite dead yet. Not too bad. Okay. So I guess that the wolf now is going to attack. Oh, see. werewolves of London. Two, two out of three. Two skulls. Okay. Yeah. Not too bad. Uh, ching, and then got hit by two more. Ba boom, destroyed. Okay. Uh, yeah, but unfortunately, I can probably the other ice gremlin is going to go out of. Yep, out of line of sight uh, and uh, off the board. Okay, yeah. my turn, and sure enough. <laughs> One, well, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and he's out of there. He's off the board, and he got your potion. Okay. I should have used it before, but... Well, on the other hand, you would have had to douse one of your pieces of equipment with it and lose it. And what what would you mm -hmm. have used? Your, uh, <laughs> your broadsword? <Yeah. laughs> it's like, it's gold, That's but... <laughs> yeah. All right, okay. so back to you, mighty barbarian. Okay, so do I have a potion? Uh, you don't have a potion right now. You have hidden reserves. Okay. That's a skill so... card, so you can use it mm -hmm. at any time. Uh, it does not count as an action. Oh, okay, that's great. Um, and it would kick in if you got killed. It would immediately give you back the two. Okay, perfect. So... There's another door. In the oh, room. Let me switch back to I can't. The... Yeah, because I can't Sorry see Sorry about the... that. Okay. Uh, yes, there is a closed door at the top of the room. Mm. But before... Uh, moving there, I'll, I'll like to search for traps, because I don't know. Okay, so you're searching the room for traps. Uh, there are no traps. Good. So the wolf is going to move towards the door, but like always. Two, One three. step. Okay. I'm torn. I almost want to search for treasure. Um, you can't. Okay, let, let's risk it. Let's risk it. Uh, yeah, it's he searches for treasure. All right. PSK's motto was treasure and fight. Of course, <laughs> you could say, look where it got him, but, you know, good guy. Potion of healing. That's good. In That's bundle good. of rags, you find a small bottle of bluish liquid. You can drink this healing potion at any time, restoring the number of body points equal to the roll of one red die. Of course, for all you know, it could yeah. be a one. But <laughs> yeah, that, that's me every time. Like a, a few weeks ago, I was playing, and uh, I had two potion of healing for the wizard, and he got killed twice. Because every time that I used one, it was uh, I always roll one. I let you roll this time <laughs> when I'm going to use it. Okay. All right. So the, the wolf st the wolf can't open the door, so I guess that the barbarian is going towards the door now. Okay, so now are we looping back to your turn, or is this yeah, 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 your yeah. action? Okay, so you're fresh. You're fresh. Yeah, 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 yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, and you're opening the door. Mm-hmm. Yep. Nice relaxing adventure. All right. <laughs> Fraught with danger, of course. Um, okay, so in the room, I'm going to reveal some stuff. There is a closed door at the bottom. I'm going to have to okay. angle the camera. 
just ignore this stuff for now. This uh, doesn't exist. In fact, I'll mm -hmm. just I'll just move it out of the way. I got my hero quest out, and um, I, I I got the potion of healing so that I remember. Remember it. I right. have it here. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, you can just write it on your character sheet, but it's also like fun to have the the card in your hand. So, I totally understand. Yeah. Okay, there's a tomb in the room. A tomb in the room. Ooh. Poet didn't know it, and there's also a couple of fearful creatures of chaos in there. Of course. And there's a skeleton right there. And another skeletal mutant right here. Well, I guess technically he'd be right there. This takes up several squares. So that's probably hard to see. Let me mm -hmm. switch cameras. Yeah, but... And you know, probably the, this quest wouldn't be as hard if it was not for a brand new barbarian, because the barbarian that I'm playing uh, right now, I, uh, when I play solo with uh, mm -hmm. the app as a spirit blade, and so very oh. nice. To have one right now. <laughs> yeah, I love the spirit blade. Definitely be yeah. be a useful useful weapon, or even the barbarian in the other quest because he's got a couple of holy waters, so that'd be just like a slam mm -hmm. dunk right there. But yeah. Um, okay. All right. Well, you've still got movement left and you've got your action. Okay. So I think that I'm going to go two square more and attack the, the skeleton. One, two. Uh, sorry. Yeah. One forward and one down so that I can face the skeleton. Ah. Face to bony face. All right. Hey. Can I roll? Yep, go for it. Ooh. The barbarian misses. That's not good. So I guess that the wolf is going. Uh yeah. Gonna try. Gonna try it. Okay, one, one two, like always, yeah. diagonal. Yep, yeah, yeah. Diagonal. Let's okay. see if it will look better right than the, the barbarian. Way. Okay. Only one. Alright, one Skele skeletons defend with two. Handheld. Missed. How many skulls did you hey. say? Only one. That's one's enough. Yeah, which one it is? Got him. Got him. By the way, where did you get the the wool? Did you print it out? Yeah, I printed it out. That's oh. actually a tile from the um, Elf Quest pack. Oh, yeah, that's Mage of the Mirror. Because nice. mm -hmm. I was looking for one, because I do have some wolf models, but they take up two squares. So I thought, well, I really want to mm -hmm. do it exactly the way they suggested, other than just using the generic tile, use the wolf tile. Yeah, All that's right. cool. I... So I guess that it's Zarkin's turn now. Well, allow me to retort. <laughs> <laughs> All right, skeleton moves forward. One, two, and attacks the wolf. Okay. Skeleton attacks with two. I hope I don't make anybody sick with my crazy hand cam here. One skull. Okay. One spot. Huh? Zero shields, unfortunately. Ooh damage 
Ah, uh, yeah. Down to so, three. The wolf yeah, down to down three. Snow Dasher. That's okay. If if uh, snow if Snow Dasher dies, there's Snow Dancer, Snow Prancer, <laughs> <laughs> Snow Vixen. Yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Barbarian. Hey, I guess the the barbarian is going to move one and attack. I'm always so scared I'm going to figure a trap, but <laughs> I have to attack. Ooh. Two skulls. Two skulls. That's All right. good. Well, and since we're not using the blind trap jumping rules, uh, there's really no escape if they put a trap on the other side of the door. How many did you say? One? <laughs> uh, two. Ching. Ching. Blocked and bolt. Really? <sighs> Wow. I, Forces of chaos conspired uh, against you. Yeah, I, I guess the, the the wolf is going to attack now. Only one this time. Okay. No. Oh. You Not know, I thought that... Okay. Oh, good, good. What's up? That's good. I thought that they were going to fix like the problem with uh, traps in front of the doors, you know? I guess there's... Well, they didn't. They didn't. Uh, so back yeah, in 1992, they, they had a plan, and I'm surprised they didn't implement it. Maybe they thought it would add too much complexity to the game, or I don't know. Well, they can always throw it into another quest, I guess, and just say, hey, yeah. here's another playtest. Savage Sally redeemed a bonus potion for the hero. Excellent. That's All good. Right. Thank you for that. Even though you're helping my opponent. <laughs> Perfect timing, because I had advertisements in front of me, so I couldn't see anything. Yeah, advertisements for potions. <laughs> okay, Potion of Superior Restoration. This refreshing concoction restores any hero's body and mind points to the level they were at when the hero started the quest. This may also be used to cure a hero who has been turned into a werewolf. Okay. That's good. <laughs> That's a very now, good one. I wonder what would happen if you gave it to the wolf. <laughs> if you assume it's not really a wolf, would it turn into a person? <laughs> what would happen? <laughs> but, uh... I don't know. You make the wolves. <laughs> you are Sargon here. Yeah. I guess uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Okay, so you have the superior restoration. That's a really good. One. That's probably the best one you could have gotten. That's great. Yeah, because now theoretically I could give the potion of healing to the wolf when I need to do that. Yeah, I'm gonna say and, uh, you give it at the time that you want it used because yeah, 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 the yeah. wolf would just kind of like lap it up with her, with her tongue on the ground. Mm -hmm. like... So what happened? If he dies, like... The wolf can keep on playing in your stead. Okay. So if the wolf dies, do I have time to give him a potion of him? Ah, you would have to give him the potion before he dies. Mm, yeah. Well, he still has three. He's got three, yeah. Body points, so yeah, okay. So, instead of moving, I'm going to search for traps first. Yeah, but I will let you know that since potions can be used at any time, like, if I'm the monster and I'm rolling, like, a big roll, and you see he's about to, you can say, hey, he uses the potion! <laughs> assuming, well, assuming you're, ah, uh, that's the other thing. Yeah, it, it counts as an action for the well, barbarian. It, it doesn't count as an action to pass a potion, but it has to be on the barbarian's turn, oh. and in... The, mm -hmm. You can't be adjacent to a monster. So there are limited circumstances yeah, under which you can do that's it. True. Yeah. Huh? So, yeah, it's a little bit more like the European rules where you can't just rely mm -hmm. on it to save you. You have to quickly, quickly use it. <laughs> yeah. I forgot about the not being adjacent to a monster rule. So I guess if a monster was attacking, it'd be, it'd be too late. Yeah. Okay. All right. So <laughs> back to your turn. So what do you do, Barbarian? Uh, I would like to search for traps. Okay. All right. The uh, square next to you looks dangerous. Hey. 
Okay, that's good. I don't think you stepped on it already. So no, which I did not. Okay, so yeah, I guess that the wolf is going to go towards the door, but not in front of it. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Okay. All right, barbarian. And now, barbarian is going to search for treasure. All right. Let's see if I get in Iraq. Potion of healing. Enveloped in a bundle of rags, you find a small bottle of liquid. You recognize it as a healing potion. You may drink the potion at any time. It will restore up to four lost body points. That's okay. very good. Yeah. Now, <laughs> technically, this is uh, this is a card that I printed. So, but I'm gonna allow it because I'm Zargon and I can do that. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So this is an extra one. Yeah. Because okay. when they did when they did the preview. If you go to the Mythic tier page where they're doing the pledge drive, this this was one of the images, but they never actually printed it for the set. So I thought, oh, oh how cool to just like clip it out and print it in the same style, you know. So there you go. So you got a plus four. four. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so you still got your movement left. I'll move towards the the door, but I'm not gonna open it. One, two, three, four. Okay, so you are adjacent to the wolf now. Mm -hmm. All right, wolf. Uh, and I'm going to go the the potion of healing to the to the wolf. Okay, which which of the two potions of healing? Uh, the normal one, like the one the, the red die. The D6. Yeah. Okay. Are you gonna roll it, or do you want me to roll it for you? You roll it <laughs> with my <laughs> with my uh, my cheating bad dice <laughs> that always come out with what I want. No, I'm just, kidding. just joking. I wouldn't do that. Uh, every time that I try, I always get one. Four. So okay, I think that's so, good. So uh, the wolf laps up the healing potion is restored to full five. Great. Okay. So I guess that the wolf then can't open the door, so it's back to the barbarian. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the barbarian going to move towards the door and open it. One second. Yep. Yeah, Savage Slay was asking where what do you, where do you print your cards at home or do you do them? Uh, professionally, yeah. Makeplayingcards.com and boardgamesmaker.com. That's where I do the the finished products. I I can do proofs at home or at like the local library or whatever local print shop. Okay, so you open the door. Yeah. So which one of this website do you use? Uh, either one. There's okay. other websites that do the same thing, but they have like a drag and drop <laughs> interface, and you can print it out. Now I don't print it out to sell it. Obviously, because I want to respect, yeah. you know, the game manufacturers, but I do print it out for my own use. Yeah. Thank you yeah. for the information, because I'm going to print out, like, the one that they give with this free quest. Huh? Yeah, I'm planning to do the same. Well, those, they explicitly want you to do that. They want yeah. you to print them out. Now, if somebody goes on eBay and tries to sell those, he's going to be uh, getting the stink eye from all of us. So don't do it. All right. Okay, so you open the door to the room, and now I gotta reveal what's there. Savage Sully is number one. Oh, yeah! Okay, so in this room, you see a number of things. Just make sure you can actually see it. Okay, you see a, a mound of rock. 
And you also see a mighty Yeti right here. Okay. okay. And this this thing isn't here. You don't see that. Well, I'm glad that at least they addressed the Yeti <laughs> problem. Well, there's also a, an ice tunnel here in the corner. Forgot that. Yeah, the Yeti was was the biggest thing. So, uh, for the record, um, it's no surprise. Uh, the Yetis they recommend not using their Yeti hug. So he just attacks, just a normal attack. I mean, he's still a powerful monster. Very really strong. He's got uh, eight movement, three attack, three defense, five body points, and two mind points. Okay, so I guess that I'm going. Oh, uh, uh, Savage Sully yeah. redeemed to search for secret doors. So the way this works is you could search for secret doors without wasting an action. Oh, that's great. Yeah, why not? All right, you search, and there are no secret doors. Huh? Thanks, Savage Sully. At least we tried. We know yep. that they are not. Yep. Well, okay. when you see a piece of furniture, it's always kind of like, hmm, is this going to slide yeah, inside? Yeah. Is going to be a secret passage mm -hmm. here? That makes sense. Okay, so I'm going to go towards the Yeti. And the Barbarian is going to attack. Okay, so the Barbarian is going to step forward? Mm -hmm. Yep. Straight ahead straight, across the room? Yeah, straight, yeah, straight ahead. Two, three. All right, and you're attacking, okay? Yep. I love the Yeti. I think that it's my favorite <laughs> miniature. But the old one looks like Cookie Monster for me. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Cookie! Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's interesting because like his pose, you know, it seems that he's going to hurt you and then you look at his face. Yeah. It's hilarious. I love you, it. you die of laughter rather than yeah. suffering yeah. and pain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he he mistook you for a cookie, you know, he, he wasn't evil, he just uh, he was just hungry. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna roll three dice. Two. Two skulls. Two skulls, okay. Thrill cam. No defense. Oh, that's good. So you damaged he him. Has, but he has five body points. Five. Wow. Okay. All right, Wolf. And uh, I guess the, the wolf is going to follow my steps and then go. One, two, three, four. Five. On my right. Because there's a rock wall on the other side. Or like that. Six. Right? To be within range of the monster? Yep. Okay. All right. And if you're yeah. going to attack, go ahead. Yeah. Off that with me. Well, oh, again. Let's go. Two skulls. No damage. Or, I mean, <laughs> no defense, rather. Full damage. Oh, no defense. Cool. Okay. <sighs> oh, I like this. Got him. Okay. Wow. The ice cream lean was... Look more dangerous than the Yeti. Yeah, they really nerfed the Yeti, but the uh, Ice Gremlin made up for it. All right, nicely done. Okay, oh. no monsters, so it's back to your turn. Okay, I'm going to search for traps first. Okay. The ceiling looks weak right next to you. Okay, that's good. Good to know. So I will avoid it. Okay, so I guess the, the barbarian now. Loop back so here. I search, I search for, yeah, the barbarian search for uh, traps, secret door, the secret doors in the previous room, right? Yeah, the previous room. Okay, 
I'm going to search for this room. For secret doors? Mm-hmm. Okay, there are no secret doors. Okay. Well, I'll put the, the wolf close to the tunnel without going inside. Okay. All right. No monsters, so it's your turn again. Okay, so now the, the barbarian can move eight. So. Yeah. I'll move eight towards the the tunnel. Okay, are you going to enter the tunnel? Yep, yep. Okay. One, two, three. Get transported to the other side. Let me just see where that is. All right. So you were transported there. Hey. I really like this idea of the ice tunnel. Okay. And the way they set it up as well is if somebody else goes through the same tunnel, they just push you to the side. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All so right. the barbarian is going to move one more and search for traps. Okay. Searching for traps. Oh, and in the process, you do see a door okay. here. And there are no traps. That's good. Okay. I'm always scared about traps because when I play, I usually I play solo with the hero quest up, the companion up, and my heroes gets hurt more by the traps than from monsters. <laughs> so well, if you forget after... to search, that's the thing. Like when I, yeah. I noticed when I played, like people would just, they would be in such a hurry that they just never search and they would land on traps like half the time. <laughs> and yeah. they're not, they don't mess around in this quest pack because a lot of the traps, there's no chance to def avoid it. Like a falling yeah. block trap or a sphere trap, you just fall right in. Mm -hmm. And it's so sad, too bad, you know. All right. Okay. Hey, so uh, I guess that the wolf now is going to move towards the door, but like one block north okay so the wolf is going to go back to the tomb room or the wolf is going to follow you through the ice tunnel sorry it's going to follow me and go towards the closed ah. door one but not in front two three four like that uh... adjust the camera yeah yes Perfect. Okay. You turn again. Okay. And the barbarian now is going to go towards the door and they will open it. One, two, three. Now, of course, as you cross, you don't see that. That's not there. Instead, let's see. What do you see? Oh, you just immediately see a stone wall behind you. Okay. Did you say you were opening the door? Yeah. yeah. All right. Go towards the door. Okay, so you see the vast room opening before you. And I've got to lay out a few things. So let's yeah. see. There is an ornate throne right here. I'm always scared when I open the door of the biggest room of the map. There's a lot of space. There's the, the ornate throne. Well, let's see what else. Yeah, there's plenty of room for monsters, that's for sure. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Thanks. And then a uh, bookcase. I gotta remember which camera. Yep, oh, right there. I don't have one of those little skulls and rat to put on top, but you can just imagine it. He likes to keep the place clean, so I don't <laughs> see that. And there's also somewhere in here. Where did I put that? Ah, there it is. A treasure chest. 
Actually, okay. two treasure chests. Excuse me. Okay. So one there. And one okay, there. This means that the, the room is going to be full of monsters. <laughs> There's no way that, that Zygon puts a treasure chest well, without monsters. <laughs> it would be either that or it would be just like trap, trap, oh, trap, 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 trap. Yeah, trap. yeah. <laughs> yeah it's like, so, what? Okay, yes, come right in. <laughs> Okay, so there's a big bad guy right there, and his uh, Yeti uh, bodyguard. And so, let me just read the little thing to you. Oh. So I get to it somewhere in here. Okay, so there's an ice gremlin. A massive, a massive gremlin sits on a frozen throne. So he looks, oh. he looks just like all the other uh, ice gremlins, except he has a big uh -huh. tuft of white hair on the top of his head. Okay. Um, he lifts a battle axe made entirely of ice over his head and signals the Yeti to attack. And this ice gremlin's okay. name is Drak Sfot Rhymebreath. Mm. And he is knowledgeable in uh, dread magic. Oh. Is there a way to turn on the heat so that like the, <laughs> it, it melts the, the weapon? <laughs> if only there were such a way. Okay. Uh, yeah, you think an ice made of axe wouldn't be... or An, a, an axe made of ice wouldn't be that strong, but, you know, maybe. Maybe it's magic ice. Now I'm torn because part of me would like to move forward and go towards the Yeti, and the other part says, well, what if there, there's, there are traps in this room, you know? Right. You would have oh. to find out. Well, you've still got, uh, you've still got movement. Mm -hmm. You've got plenty of uh, healing. If for the mighty battle ahead. Hmm. Thinking about it. I'll risk it. So I'll, I'll move one space forward. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. No, but but I said it. So okay. So I, yeah, so, so one forward, forward and then one north. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah, uh, one up. Yeah, and now straight towards uh, the Yeti. Keep going? Or... Uh, no, one, 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 two, south. three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, uh, yeah. here. Oh, one down, like one square down. I think there's there's a delay. Yeah. So you come through the yeah. door. You're just you wanted to just move straight forward. Uh, no, one straight forward, one up, and then again straight forward towards the Yeti. Seven, like here. So in a serpentine path? Yeah, kind of. Okay. You have one more square. Only one. Yeah. Okay, so this didn't make any sense. Well, uh... you were here, you moved one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then... Okay. I, I just wanted to go one forward where the door was. Okay, um, one, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, I have one more. Okay, I guess that I'm going one more. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you could attack him. Attack the big guy. Okay, yeah, if I can attack the big guy, but yeah, I'll attack the big guy. All right. There's some delay, so it's hard to oh. 
I can understand. Sorry about that. No, no. Yeah. Oh, it's your fault. <laughs> hey. I'm gonna attack with three. Let's see. Faster computer, just not faster internet. <laughs> Two skulls. Two skulls, alright. So Jack Frost, as his friends call him, is, uh, he has three defend dice. Okay. So you got two skulls? Yeah. Not bad. See? All right. Blocked one. Ching! And he took one damage. Okay. Well, better than nothing. So I guess that the wolf is going to follow my step and then move one south so that he can attack diagonally. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, which which monster is he going to be in front of? Uh, he is going to be diagonal to the the big monster and attack the big one. Okay. And I will reveal he had four body points and now he is down to three. Okay. That's good. Oh, let's see. Let's see how I roll. All right. Let's see how you roll. Uh, only one. Goes three defense. No defense. Ah, oh, yeah. If I only have done better. Well, consistent. He's down to half damage. Okay. Half health, half body, whatever. All right, my turn. Yeah. All right. Immediately. It's fun now. <laughs> Immediately, <laughs> he uh, he uses his tempest magic to okay. envelop envelop the wolf in a small uh, tornado, okay. causing her to lose a turn. Mm. And he has eight movement, so he's gonna make a run for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He's out the door. And as okay. he as oh. he fled, he uh, he told his uh, yeti to attack. So reluctantly, the, uh, the Yeti moves forward. One, two, three. And attacks the Barbarian. Three attack dice. Hey, Elviler's here. Welcome, Elviler. Two skulls. He came at an oh. opportune time. He's praying for a healthy battle. Let's see. Let's see. Two skulls. Only one shield, unfortunately. Savage Sully, is that an uncommon feat that you're doing there? Okay, what'd you get? Uh, only one uh, shield. Okay, so you took one damage? Yeah. All right. So you're I'm down, down to four eight, now. Four. Yeah, so we are playing Into the Northlands, which is the prelude to the Frozen Horror by Doug Hopkins. And this is, we're also, we're only using um, Avalon Hill's suggested playtesting and errata rules. Now, obviously, we are still doing the, the chat, so people can still buy potions and so forth and skill cards. And so, we're you know, we've added that, but we're, uh, we're not using our usual homebrew rules this time. Dumai Montalto is controlling the Barbarian, and he has Snow Dasher the Wolf with him. Yeah. All right. Let's see if I will survive. Okay. So I guess that now is the Barbarian turn, and he is going to drink the, the potion. Okay. So that he goes the back to eight, right? Superior restoration. Yeah. This, or no, yep. the... Uh, or the uh, the plus four, uh, yeah, the plus four, the healing plus four. Okay, so he's back to eight body points. Okay, and now instead of attacking the yeti, I I'll draw like I'll draw for movement and see if I can actually do that. Okay, uh -huh. I suck at it. 
I did five, so no. I don't have a way to go and chase the other monster, so I'm just going to attack the Yeti. All I right. guess. Okay. If you get a lucky hit, you can keep chasing. <laughs> That's it. <yeah. laughs> the barbarian misses. Like. Oh, whiff. <laughs> hit nothing but air. Yeah, and the wolf is in a war we're wounded, so yep. can no. move. No turn. Okay. Uh, my, my turn. All right. So the uh, the bad guy kind of realizes maybe he should go back in there. Maybe maybe these guys aren't so tough after all. So he uh, moves back one, two, three, four, five, six to attack the barbarian. A. And he's going to attack with three. One skull. A, only one. That's good. <sighs> what a lot. Okay. Hey, I, I get it. He hits me. Unfortunately. Bonus mercenary. Clang. Ooh, okay. What'd you, what'd you get? Uh... Nothing. Oh, so you took it? Took one body point of damage down yeah. to seven. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. but a mercenary was just summoned. Ooh, All right. that's cool. Well, which one? Um, do you want me to pick, or do you want to just choose one? There's four I options. Don't know. Uh, I don't the, the fastest one you... would be the scout, but he's not very strong. Mm. Maybe you have her uh, redeem it. Can choose. All right. So, Jace or Jay, which uh, which mercenary should he get? We got the crossbowman, the halberdier, the scout, or the swordsman. Mm. Unless he uh, did it and ran off, in which case I'm going to have to pick. Huh? In the case, if I can pick, I will choose the crossbowman. Okay, you want the crossbowman? Yeah. Okay. Why not? I can't. Okay, so the crossbowman moves six. Hey. Let's get the crossbowman out. I guess the unfortunately the the rule of moving eight. When they oh wait the 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 rule of moving eight is only when there are no monsters on the entire board right right uh, well the the, the, the mercenaries have the mercenaries have fixed movement always so it oh, yeah. doesn't really apply to them that doesn't apply okay I assume that you're gonna send him into the room <laughs> yeah yeah definitely okay. well let's see wait a minute I've still got to do my thing so I guess technically he can't move yet um okay so I attack so now the yeti attacks. Attacks the barbarian. Two skulls. <sighs> okay. Did Man. Aim it very well. I take two dam damages. Two damage. Okay. So you're down to five. Yeah, I'm down to five now. Good thing you had that healing. Yeah. All right. Okay. Now my turn is over. Now you can move your mercenary. Hey, yeah, I like to move the mercenary. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he did not quite reach the ice tunnel, but he's on his way. Or wait, wait. Um, boom. Oh. Boom, boom. I'm just trying to think if there's a shortcut. Actually. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. I was just trying to make sure that... <laughs> okay, uh, Barbarian? Okay. So the Barbarian is going to to attack All right. the, the boss. All right. Yeah. Jack Frost. And the Barbarian misses again. Oh. <laughs> okay. Right. 
Okay. Uh, the wolf is free from yeah, the effects of the so spell. Uh, I guess that he's going to attack the, the boss. Okay. The, so the ice cream line. Okay, so the wolf moves in front of the yeah, throne. He moves. Yeah, only two, yeah. And attacks direct only. Okay, that's good. Three. Three, okay. Three skulls, wow. And three skulls. No defense. So he's dead, isn't it? Uh, let's see. Is he dead? Oh, he only had four body points. Okay. Should have run away. Oh, that's good. That's good. Got him. So, when Drax fought, Rhymebreath is defeated. The cold magic that created his throne is dispelled. It melts into water. <laughs> Revealing an exit to the entrance of the cave where this quest first began. Replace the throne with an open door. Oh. Okay. Okay. So I guess that's that's your turn, is Sargon's right. turn. All right, the Yeti. <laughs> I guess that means I'm in charge now. Ha ha ha! Cool guys. He he says it doesn't really make any sense, but that's what he said. And he's gonna attack you. And he got two skulls. Ah. Uh. I guess that's the power. <laughs> okay, I go down to three now. Barbarian goes down to three. Three body points. All oh. right. It's your turn again, my friend. Okay. So who goes first? The, the barbarian, the crossbowman, or. I you pop out a random tunnel for viewers. Need a way to spend gold to buff hero or merc movement. Well, see, that's the thing, uh, Savage Sully. Um, you can buy a potion, which could be a potion of speed, but it's just not guaranteed. It's a random draw, so it could be anything. Okay, I'm I'm sorry. Do my mentalto. What, what was your? Uh... Um, is is it uh, the barbarian's turn or the crossbowman? Oh, um, I I had him move first, so it'd be the barbarian's turn. Okay, perfect. I guess technically he should move after the Barbarian. Okay. Perfect. So the Barbarian is going to attack the, the Yeti. Right. Let's see. Only one. Only one skull. No defense. Okay, so he's taken That's one hit of damage. Nice. He's got four more to go. He's stronger than the Ice Gremlin boss. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I, I guess that the, I'm going to move for roll for mov movement. The bonus potion was drawn. Potion of skill. Oh, this is only for the dwarf. Okay. So huh? I'm just going to give you a redraw. Let's pretend he just was like, nah. Ocean of Battle Rage. That's only for the Barbarian. Okay. Oh, yeah, you are the Barbarian. I forgot. I'm like, ah, it's I am only... <laughs> no, Wait, wait, I wanted that one. Okay. <laughs> only the Barbarian can drink this purple-red concoction. It grants him two attacks per turn as long as there are monsters in his line of sight. As soon as there are no monsters in the Barbarian's line of sight, this potion effect wears off. Okay. That's great. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Thank you for the okay. extra potion there. That was from Savage Sully. Coming out with a vengeance. Thank you so much. Okay, so I guess the uh, going to roll for movement. Okay. Uh, of the four. So going to 
place him like diagonally and I let him attack. Okay, so wait a minute. Is the is the barbarian running out of the way? Or is the dwarf no, no, no. just gonna he... I mean the dwarf. The <laughs> the wolf. Yeah, the wolf. Okay. Yeah, the dwarf yeah. wolf. So right below or above? Above. Above, okay. Strong. It's like I wanted to say dwarf or elf or wolf. Yeah. Okay. okay. Alright. He's going to attack. Let's stay. Get him. Yeah. Only one, unfortunately. Only one skull. Fortunately for me, though. Uh, ting! Blocked it. Clang! The high ground. Mmm, okay. So now it's the Bruce Bowman's turn, right? Okay, yep. So he goes through the ice tunnel. Can, instead of going towards the ice tunnel, can I go like oh. towards the door? We save him some time. One, two, three. Oh, you're right. Four. Stepped into the room. Do you want him to just move into range? Or. Uh, um, no, I was. Yeah. Yeah. If he can. Because he can attack diagonally, right? No. So... He, can, he can attack adjacently or he can shoot at range. Oh, okay. Yeah. If I can shoot at range. I would like to do that. Three, four. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm going to say you can hit him. Hey, that's great. Ah. <laughs> All right. So go, go ahead and roll your three. Three died. Two. Two out of three. Not too bad. Okay. No defense. Hey, that's good. Wait, how many did you get? Two, two or three? Mm -hmm. Only two, unfortunately. Two. Still, it's got a lot of, a lot of body. Hmm. Well, I guess that it's Sarkin's turn now. <laughs> All right. Um. Target of opportunity or the weaker target i'm gonna move towards the uh unfortunate crossbowman mm. they get hung up on the bookcase and he attacks yeah, with uh standard three and uh, i will defend with two. Oh no with three two, two, defense with three two, but two, us two two skulls oh he defends with uh, three. he defends with three yeah but it only has two body points, so yeah. if I don't defend, he is dead. That's right. And you can't pass him a potion because there's a monster adjacent. Two shields, fortunately. Cha-ching! Yeah. Lucky guy. He's... All right. Barbarian. Hey, the barbarian is going to attack the big yeti. Let's see. Only one again. The barbarian needed some more training there. Yeah, shouldn't have skipped leg day. Uh, well, that's for that's for making slow movement. Okay, ching. Playing the dramatic uh, royalty-free uh, battle music as this goes on. All right, now what? Sorry, did I get him? Uh, no, he blocked it. Oh, okay. And oh, the yes, he is, he's going to move. He can move at least two, right? Yeah. He's going to move two and attack diagonally. Okay. Only one again. Ching. Blocked it. I guess 
This Yeti is the brother of the other one that I killed, so he's really mad at me. Yes. He also got hey. a field promotion, so even though the, the throne melted. <laughs> uh, now he is the boss there. Okay. Uh, so if the crossbowman uh, goes one uh, backward, uh, can he shoot, right? Yes. Okay. So I guess I'm going to do that. Backs up. Cox's mm -hmm. uh, crossbow launches a bolt. Roll three. Only one. Oh, man. Yeah. Ching. Blocked it. Oh, okay. Yes, that this Yeti. <laughs> There's always that one stubborn monster who just refuses to go down. Get in. I'm glad that he is not using the the, the hug attack. If oh not. yeah. <laughs> he could just uh, he could smother the smother the crossbowman in one one go. Okay. All right. Um. Let's see. He's gonna do the target of opportunity this time and just turn and attack the barbarian. Mm. Um, missed. I was foolish. That's great. That's great. So the barbarian must have just like whispered in his ear, and he like turned. Oh! <laughs> Took a wild <laughs> swing. Totally missed. Because the barbarian only has three body points now. Mm -hmm. In a bad spot. But fortunately, it's barbarian's turn, so I'm gonna attack. Only one. <laughs> I don't know why. No defense. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. One, two, three. Okay. He's got one left. Only one left. Okay. You got this. So I guess the barbarian yells, Guys, we really need to kill this guy. <laughs> yep. Yeah, and the wolf tries it. Let's see. Okay, two. Ah, I'm gonna re-roll that one. Oh. Ching! One, but the others okay. were no help, so... Oof. Dead. Okay. It's dead. <sighs> That's great. And I, oh. I know I, guys, I know I just recommended uh, uh, Board Games Maker, but if you do get dice made, I just want to warn you of something. So I've had these for a year, and already I see this the uh, stuff is coming off. And so, see that? Mm-hmm. So I do not recommend you get their dice, unfortunately. I mean, I'm, I'm not super rough with them. I don't have like really sweaty hands, but that's uh, that's unacceptable for the price that I paid for them, unfortunately. All their other stuff was great, but these, I mean, they're starting to look like the mythic tier dice. I hate to say it. Yeah, yeah the mythic tier dice are not the best. Yeah, I mean, some people got lucky. I guess the the Frozen Horror ones are better, better quality. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's like the the impressions, the inscribing wasn't quite deep enough, and so yeah, yeah the the lion faces are not fully fully there. Some of the lions have no mouths. All right, okay. So where were we? Um, so the monster's been killed. All right, it's okay. your turn. So. I guess that nobody can search this for traps except the barbarian. That's so right. So everyone is going to skip it, their turn until the barbarian. Because I want to search for a trap first. Uh, okay. And there are no traps. Okay. So okay. Savage Sully asked a question: Which of the two services you prefer? Well, here's the thing: they're actually the same business. I'm ninety-nine point nine percent sure that Board Games Maker and Make Pen and Cards are the same. Same business. Or if not, they're right, nor right next door to each other. They probably share the same building for all I know. But 
Yeah, their services are pretty much identical, except uh, Board Games Maker has... I mean, they you can make cards there, but you can also do miniatures, boards, tiles. Make playing cards is exclusively cards and, like, card-related stuff, like boxes. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, um, some of their stuff... I mean, their miniatures are expensive, but they turn out really well. Their dice are way too expensive for what you get, in my opinion. I mean, I did it just to see what they would be, and, I mean, the dice themselves seem like good quality, but the printing, I mean, it's just... It's very light. Mm. Now, I How's guess if... the quality of the, of the cards? What's that? How's the quality of the cards? Oh, pretty good, I would say. Um, let's look at an example. Uh, let me just grab one here. This is not an advertisement. I'm just showing you. So this is like the Superior Smooth. And... You know, I just used modified images from mm -hmm. online, and yeah, it's pretty good. I still put it in a sleeve because that way the the official cards and the custom cards all kind of blend together a little yeah. bit easier. If anybody has dirty fingers, <laughs> it won't matter. So, yeah, so definitely What's get the cards. Size, usually? Yeah. Yeah, but uh, but these mercenaries, these were printed by mm -hmm. uh, Board Games Maker. This is plastic, mm -hmm. and it's it's obviously like from a, a 3D print file, but they mm -hmm. used airbrush on it, like so many layers of airbrush. It almost looks like injection molding, but it's not. It's 3D print. Mm -hmm. That's so, cool. None of those have broken yeah, yet, they, they, which is more than I can say for the the resin prints that I've gotten off of Etsy. Several of those have broken. They look fantastic, mm -hmm. but they're just very fragile. So, oh, Savage Slayer redeemed, redeemed his search for traps. So I didn't see that before you actually did. Did he okay. redeem that after? Sorry, I got a little off on a quest there. Yeah, I didn't own. see it either. Okay, well, you'll get a free search for traps some other time if you want. Okay. Okay, because you already searched the room. There's no traps, so mm -hmm. back to and, your Yeah, and... Then the barbarian is going to search for treasure because the other Excellent. can. So thought you'd never ask. Okay, so searching the room, uh, you find a whole bunch of stuff. So let's see. Good. You find. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Oh, I gotta look at the notes. All right, so you find a long-lost artifact known as the Armband of Ice. And I don't have the card with me. Hey. But if you Do you have the Frozen Horror? Pack? Yeah, yeah, I have the, okay. the, the card Just here. Refer to the card. Yeah, the Armband okay. of Ice is a really useful artifact. In the original version of the Frozen Horror from 1992, you never got it. So you had to put it into your own homebrew quests or, yeah, they give it to you here. So you got the Armband of Ice. Okay. Very useful. And you also find 200 gold coins. That's in good. The treasure chests. And let's see, you also get some other stuff too, if I remember correctly. Da, 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 da. Da, where is it? I don't know why I'm having a hard time finding the stuff. Okay, yes, there's also a set of bracers. Ooh, so bracers yeah. Bracers armor. And that's another potion nice. of healing that's plus four. Okay, so the plus four, not the one with the... Yeah, yeah. plus four and then bracers. So bracers will increase your defense by one. <laughs> All right. Okay, so now what will you do? <laughs> hey, hey. Clang. So... Do I have to find the other door to get out, or do I get out from the same uh, door? Well, the way the way they they talk about it here, it sounds like you can leave the way you came in. Okay. So I'm not looking for another door. No. Okay, but I'm pretty sure there there's more in this quest, so I have time. So 
Okay. Uh, let's, yeah. Let's check the let's check let's... the chat and see. Yeah. Okay. So we've got no new people have joined. We've got Savage Sully, Lacaraf, La Laura, Ka Laura Craft. It's just like Laura Croft. I get it now. Okay. Yeah. Welcome. So, um, yeah, if you guys don't mind, uh, he's going to do a little more exploring, I think, and hopefully not get himself killed <laughs> so he can enjoy the treasure. All right. What will you do next? Uh, I'm going to go um, get out of the same door that the barbarian came from. So he's going to move eight towards that door. Okay, so you went through the door. And I searched for trap there in the water. So I guess that I'm going to go south. Okay. Let me finish my movement. Okay. Okay. So you go to the end of the corridor, let's see, and you see a stone wall here. And you also see um, another entrance to an ice tunnel in front of you. Mm. This is the third ice tunnel entrance. Okay, but I can't go in. I don't have enough movement, right? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I thought you had one more. I could be wrong. It's a trap, says Sully. <laughs> All right, it's up to you. If you want to go through oh, it, no. I'll let you go through no, it. No, I'll, I'll wait. I'll wait and I'll wait for the uh, um, the wolf to join. So they can move eight. So I like to have the wolf right after me. Actually, the wolf can move ten, but okay. Oh, One, yeah. Two, three, That's four, right. five. Is the wolf going to just stay there? His movement is is ten, so yeah, yeah, um, yeah just stay there. And the crossbowman, uh, he can only move six, so yeah, six towards the door. Two, three, four, five, six. There's the rewards queue. Okay, so. Barbarian this time is going to go through the ice Oh, you got tunnel. a bonus. I forgot. You got a bonus tre yeah. treasure search. Ooh. I should have I let you use it back then when you're still in the room. Do you want to go ahead and just redeem it? Or do you want to wait till you're in the next room? Maybe next room. Okay. All right. Because technically the way it would work is it would just be like, oh, you could search the same room twice and you, you found mm -hmm. something else maybe. Yeah, now, but I don't want to search in that room. Like, yeah. And okay. If I get a wandering monster. <laughs> well, PSK said it should be a safe search. I could, oh. I could make it a safe search, I guess. Okay. If it's up to you. If you want to make it safe search, I'll do it. All right. Potion of healing and a bundle of rags, blah, blah, blah. You find one red die. Uh, potion of healing. Okay, that's good. So I have one I have one red die, potion of healing. Another one with up to four. Yes. Okay, and then the bracers. Yep. Behind the bed. Wise, okay. All right, your turn. Yep. The barbarian is going... We'll move towards the the ice tunnel. All right, and we'll say that was a free action just because I forgot yeah, yeah. to do it earlier. Okay, so you move through the ice tunnel and you go mm -hmm. out the other side. 
Let's see, where does it lead to? All right, so the ice tunnel is here. You go through, boom. All right. Well, that's the free camera. Okay, let me just switch over. Might be a little easier to see. I've got a weird transition on my camera. That should be a fade. Okay, all right. You see that now? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, now I just got to reveal the rest of the room. Okay. So there is a closed door there. And there's also a Yeti. I hope that this is not like and the Yeti! brother. Yeah, it's a it's a big family, and they're all pissed at you. <laughs> all right. Well, well, you've got uh, the rest of your movement, and you've got your action. Okay, so I guess the I'm going to go towards him, and I'll attack him. Okay, which direction are you moving? Uh, on the side. Here? Okay, instead above? Of, or... Instead of facing above. Above. Okay. Oh. Alright, you're going to attack? I have a... Yeah. But I can't see anything for 20 seconds. There is an advertisement. <laughs> and the barbarian is distracted by the advertisement and he misses... <laughs> <laughs> oh man missed okay all right well uh you've got your other two characters uh, they were sponsoring a car so he was like what's what? that <laughs> what kind of what manner of chariot is this <laughs> uh, i mean <laughs> yeah it was uh it was an illusion sent by zargon to tempt him uh, away from the the path the hero's path well, so I guess the the wolf is going to, yeah, to go into the ice tunnel too. Two, three. He is going to. That was three. <laughs> Theoretically, he could stay there. Yeah. Attack, and then when the crossbowman. Uh, he would just push him to the Arrives, side. Arrives, he will be pushed, but the crossbowman will be... He can attack. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's do this. Let's right. attack from there. Two. Two scrolls. No defense. Oh, great. Good start. That's... That is a good start. Okay. So... The crossbowman will go towards One, the two, three, four, the five, six. All right, where is he going to push the uh, wolf? Um, let's say um, the left of the board. Queen. Uh, maybe. Uh, okay. One, if I do two, that, three. then he cannot attack. He has one more movement. He could okay. move adjacent and use his broadsword, his holdout weapon, instead of his crossbow. Okay. Yeah. If you why want. Not? Okay, so he's gonna move here. Yeah. Mm hmm. So he has both the uh, the crossbow and a uh, short sword. Uh, let me reread this. I thought it was a broadsword. Let's see. Mercenaries, blah, blah, blah. The crossbowman wields a crossbow, blah, blah, blah. When adjacent to a foe, the crossbowman attacks with a broadsword. Okay. So he can attack with three? Yeah. 
So he moves That's here. Right. Okay. But unfortunately, uh, he did land on a stalactite trap. Ah, uh, uh, gotcha. Got him. Okay. So we're going to give him one damage there. Only one. Okay. And then his turn but, is over. But so, his turn is over. Yeah. yeah, my turn. All right. So the uh, the wounded... Uh, oh, man. What's going to do? Yeah, the Yeti is going to attack the Barbarian. Because it would be so nice to finish off the crossbowman. But he's uh, he wants revenge for the previous Yetis he killed. It's nothing personal. Oh. All right, two skulls. Oh my goodness gracious. The barbarian defense with two. Oh, let's stay. Three. Spracers. Oh yeah. That's true. Thank you. Okay. Two shields then. Cha ching. Ooh. Ooh. Excellent. Excellent. The last one saved me. Okay, so you survived. <laughs> All right, still in the fight. Okay. Still in the fight. Okay. All right, your turn. Uh, you know, the, the barbarian is trying to talk the Yeti out of this, saying, it's, 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 you know, I have to do it. It's nothing personal. But I think that the Yeti understands yeah. to say so. The barbarian tries, but only one, only one score. All right. And welcome back, Elviler. All right, ching. Oh, okay. So he stopped there. Someone in the chat is saying that we are three versus one, so you should put give him the chance to. The Diag attack, but no, no, please no. <laughs> well, you could always uh, give me a bonus Superman. monster if you really feel sorry for Zargon. But that's up to the chat. You can or do a it, threat, guys, threat but... card or a chaos card, whatever. You've got the gold coins. Why for not? It. <laughs> Just totally, totally sabotage. Okay, so it's um, it's your turn now. Okay, so if the wolf steps in the uh, the ice tunnel, it can't skip it. it, it He'll immediately it be will transported. Go. Mm, okay, okay, so he needs to go around. Okay. All right, another bonus potion. Oh. Poison. You uncover a rusty brown flask filled with liquid. You taste it turns out to be poison. Well, one combat die a skull means you lose one body point. Okay, man. Oh. Do you want to roll or should I? Yeah, I, I, I did. It's a shield. It's a, like a monster okay, shield. Okay, you're safe. All right, Oof, but, but I got a I got a chaos card. Yeah, you got a chaos. Card. Somebody's somebody's rooting for the bad guys. All right, I'm not gonna turn it down. Why not? Okay. Now this could get really dicey in the uh, actual game. But what am I saying? We've been doing that <laughs> all this time. <laughs> Okay. All right. I'm going to so, draw the card and I won't show yeah. it to you. Ooh. Okay. I like it. All right. <laughs> so I guess that the wolf is going to go around. Okay. And he's going I to guess attack one, two, diagonally. Three. Yeah, just move one, two, three and attack diagonally. Moo ha ha ha. <laughs> hey! What'd you get? Three! Three skulls. Wow. That is good. Ching, and then took two damage. So he's got one left. One left. Okay. So I guess that the Rose Bowman can attack her again with three. Yes. Okay. Why not? Two. Two out of three. Three skulls. Two skulls. 
Oh, cockeyed. Ching, and then took one more hit. Hey, that's great. Yeah, okay, okay. Goes down. Yeah, good. Oof. You survived. So, all right. Barbarian. Things are going to use the uh, dread during his turn, even if he doesn't have monsters. On the well, the, the card, it, it all depends on what the card says. Okay, okay. I didn't show you the card, so I know what okay. he can do. <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh, I guess that is Barbarian's turn, so he is going to search for traps first. Traps. Uh, no traps, but you do find the remnants of a bloody... And his uh, name is John C. Okay. I definitely did not see that coming. <laughs> John Cena. <laughs> it's like the trap that you found was John Cena. Yeah. Okay, so I guess that he is going to move towards the door without opening it. out opening it okay all right and the, the wolf is going to follow and the same for for the crossbowman where's the crossbowman gonna go uh he is going to follow like the other side right, right behind yeah behind the barbarian okay <laughs> yeah, the John Cena uh, redemption is pretty loud, but thankfully, I don't think you got you heard it because your Twitch was muted. So. No, no, I can't. Okay, yeah. okay. so I guess the barbarian. Uh... Should I search for treasure? Uh... Yeah, let's let's do it. Let's search okay. for treasure. On the other hand, when you, if you did buy these dice, which I don't recommend because they're so expensive, um, you could just put a clear coat of varnish on them like right after you get them to protect them. That'd be one way to do it. That's what I did with the German dice because they're just painted on and it's plastic. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you're searching for treasure. Let's see. <laughs> Delay gives me one second to turn it down. Yeah, you sleep. John Cena, uh-oh. Quick, turn it down. Wandering Monster. As you're searching, uh -huh. the monster stalks you and attacks. Zargon places the Wandering Monster. Listen in the quest book and any square next to you. All right, and let's see what they decided to make the Wandering Monster in this Into the Northlands quest. It's an Ice Gremlin. Okay. Now, it says it attacks. It doesn't get to steal anything. That That's first good. Time. That's good. So it attacks with three... Oh, attacks with three. I defend with three. But no. Yeah. It's got the wrong camera going. Or, yes, I do. Right camera. Oh, it's cockeyed again. Two skulls. Oh. The barbarian. Hey. You said two? Two. The barbarian goes down to one body point. Ooh. Good thing he's got all that healing. Yeah, that's very... And I guess that he is going to drink the one that gives four body points. All right. Sensible. Let's get so rid of that. Five. How did I go? Back. Five. Er, yeah. Hey. Okay, uh, sorry. Let me just do a point check here. So how many body points? The Barbarian had one, and now he's up to five, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, how many body points does the wolf have? The wolf has five. He went down to three, and then I give him the a potion of healing, That's and right. you rolled. That's right. That's right. Okay. And the crossbowman only has one. Crossbowman has one. Mm hmm Thanks. Okay. All right. Um, okay, so after the Barbarian, you've got your two companions. Okay. 
So I already know that there are no traps, so the wolf is going to attack. Okay. He's going to move all around it. Oh, all Three. Like so? Mm -hmm. On top? Yep. Perfect. Only one, unfortunately. No defense. Okay, that's good. But he, he still has like two body points. Yep. Mm. Okay. And the crossbowman attack from there. Fubar Jr. is here. Welcome. <laughs> I'm assuming yeah. all you guys are real. I haven't checked the bot list lately, but I think I cleared them all out, but you never know. Okay, so the crossbowman, if he can, he will attack too. Okay, so he's going to move back to and shoot? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. All right. Two out of three. Two scores. And then he got hit by one more. Hey, so yes. It's one. One left. Okay. Uh, okay, there's nothing that I can do, I guess. He can decide if he wants to attack or steal something now. Um, my turn. Okay. Mm hmm. Hmm. But he can't get away, so it wouldn't do him That's any good right. to steal. That's right. You're blocking my path. Huh. <laughs> I mean, he could steal something, but then he would just be like standing there, like, ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> I'll be hilarious. Yeah. But I think instead he's going to attack. Mm -hmm. So let's see. He's going to attack. He's going to attack the wolf weaker target mm -hmm. yeah because the wolf only defends with two mm -hmm. can't put armor on him one skull okay so one shield Ooh. all right Go your turn hey the barbarian it's sick of him going to attack two out of three that's pretty good those calls. Two skulls, huh? Wow. Dead. Got him. Ooh. Got him. Good. That's good. So I guess the barbarian attacked, so I'm not going to have him move. He will stay there and then the wolf will move. One forward and the uh, crossbowman will move two forward. So that we are all pretty close to the door. Mm -hmm. And then the barbarian will move eight. Barbarian's turn? Yep. Let's have the barbarian open the door. Okay, I'm revealing everything inside. Now, I don't actually have the right tile. I forgot to print it out, so we just have to use this instead. Mm -hmm. Just a moment. Ooh. 
So there's one treasure, one treasure chest. Yeah, so it's just it's loaded with stuff. All right, are you gonna step inside? Uh, yeah, I'll step inside and then <laughs> I'll search for traps if I don't trigger one. Okay, there are no traps. Okay. I guess then going. Is there a door? No. There is uh, no that's door. actually a mirror. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to skip the uh, wolves and crossbowmen's turn, and I'm going to search for treasure now. Okay. So you search for treasure. This is the Ice Gremlin treasure room. This is where oh. everything that the Ice Gremlins have stolen oh. thus far That's cool. in our adventures in the Frozen Horror have been kept. So it's kind of like I'm retroactively putting them there. So let's see. Hopefully I, I tried to keep careful track of everything that was stolen. So, yeah, there's a potion of alchemy here. Mm -hmm. There's a potion of healing, 1d6. There's okay. a potion of magic resistance. There's a long sword. A long sword. Okay. Congratulations. That's good. That's good. Huh? I guess the, the long sword is better because he can attack diagonally, right? That's right. Yep. Perfect. Oh, so, yeah. Let's get out of here. Yes. I don't know if there. Are... I haven't seen other rooms. I don't know if there. Are... If I should search for secret doors somewhere, but. Well, it's up to you. You want to skip to his turn and do it? Yeah, let's search for secret doors. Alright. Is there one? Atmospheric sound effect, yep. Ooh. Okay. Alright, so that secret door is in the corner here. I'm going to say that you're able to pass everything there, if you do want to move towards it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I, I don't want to open it, because I did my action this turn. Okay. Alright. Uh, loop back to your turn, or you want to move your allies there first? Uh, I'll move the, the wolf and the crossbowman close to me. Okay. In this order. Five diagonal. Yep. One, two, three, four. Where do you want the crossbowman? Right before. Five, like uh, here? Yeah, I like behind, behind the, the barbarian. Okay. Yep. Well, I might have forgotten one item here. Hold on. The way the mirror is very cool. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I used the uh, Maltau chrome pen, but like there was a leak in it, so like a lot of it was pouring out. So I just like dumped it in there to give it like okay. a mirror mirror effect. It's, it would probably be much cheaper to just get a piece of foil, cut it to size, mm -hmm. and put it on there. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty one, cool. One little experiment. I forgot that there is actually more stuff in here. Um, there is also a helmet. Ooh. Yeah, there's also a helmet, um, 50 gold, and a toolkit. <laughs> yeah. Wow, there's a bunch of stuff. There. Yeah, there was a whole another paragraph. So that was these are the things that they put in versus the stuff mm -hmm. that I put in from the previous thefts. Yeah. So toolkit, 50 gold and helmet. That's okay. cool. Okay. So you put the helmet on. So now you've got four defense. Yeah. Even better. Okay. And the toolkit is 
50% no, de- chance depends on this disarming. Yeah, it depends on the situation. Because something is revealing a trap, but depends where it is, you cannot like just you can always try to jump it, but Right. You have to search for it first according to their rules. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess according to mine too. Um all right. So oh, uh, you want to well, skip back to your turn and then Yeah, back to the barbarian. He's going to open the secret door. Okay. All right, so you open the door. Really, I should just reveal what's inside the room. Okay, so immediately you see a stone block here. And you see a door on the other side here. And you see couple of ice gremlins one right in front and one slightly past the uh, stone stone block Mm. okay I'm really sorry I just got a phone call Um, I'm just just give me a second to answer this thank you everybody stick around that and thank you for uh thank you for doing the coffee talk thing and suggesting the topic that was great all right uh do my mentalto are you still with us yep okay i know you said you had to leave at nine oh so we're yep we're still doing okay then yeah excellent okay Uh, 30 minutes (laughs) i'll have to i'll just have to cut that out of the replay when we post it up on youtube so far so good though i mean you know i won't i won't joke with you my last my, my laptop would get so hot, I would actually put ice on top of it <laughs> to try to cool it down. Uh, and then the fan finally failed. And so I'm getting a new fan ordered and we'll see if I can get it back. But so far, this new system has worked out pretty well. I mean, I don't see any problems. Yeah. I've just got the usual delays. Oh, great. So, yeah. yeah that's because yeah. of the internet. But... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Okay, so we're back into the quest. Um, Yes, once again, welcome to everyone who has joined us here on HeroQuest Fans. Duma Montalto is my guest, playing as the Barbarian in this uh, prelude to the Frozen Horror into the Northlands. And he's got uh, quite a lot of assistance from the Twitch chat. And that that helped a lot. Oh, yeah. I like the participation, the active participation. So we've got Elverg, Fubar Jr., which I checked, who is not a bot. Thank you for that. Jacer J, 22, Savage Sully, who's been doing a lot of cheering. Uh, Elviler, of course, and The Strange Bus is with us. Welcome back. Hope you're all doing well. And uh, my phone's ringing again, but I'm going to get it later. Thankfully, it's not a, not anything, not an emergency, <laughs> but... Uh, I will have to call that person back. So, all right. Thanks, everybody. Okay, so we are back to the barbarian who has opened the secret door and has revealed the two ice gremlins. Yeah, he's going to step one forward and is going to attack the one in front of him. Okay. He doesn't step on a trap. If he doesn't step on a trap. That's a real trick these days. And he okay. did not. He did not step on a trap. That's great. So he is going to attack with three, Come on. two, two skulls. All right. Two skulls, huh? Uh, ching, and then one damage. Okay. So the ice gremlin takes oh. one hit. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Savage Sully okay. cheers again. All right. I got to do it. Let's see. Thank you, guys. Oops, sorry, I said. The wolf is going to move forward. And the only to the same ice cream wind. Okay, so you're gonna 
Um, the wolf. Mm hmm. It's one, two, diagonal to the ice gremlin. Yep. And that's the attacked with three. Wow, and the wolf misses. I guess that this is the first time that ah, for the wolf. Getting tired. Yeah, I guess. And now the crossbowman needs to move one, two, three, four to be adjacent to to the ice gremlin and attack. Okay, let me just check and see if he landed on anything there. Yeah. Uh, actually, he landed on a square of slippery ice. Slippery ice. Oh. Which I thought I had some laying here. If I can't find the tile, it can't use it, right? <laughs> just kidding. Maybe, yeah, maybe he knows how to ice skate. Yeah. He's good at it. <laughs> Alright, so there's a piece of slippery ice. And let me just reread the rules. I believe you have to avoid rolling a white shield so that you don't fall down. Hey. Slippery ice. Don't put on the till he steps on it. Okay, so roll one combat die. Hey. Let's see. I have the shield, the white shield. Okay, so he falls down. Clunk. Hey. Alright, his turn ends immediately. Does he lose a body point? No, but he's basically stunned, so he can't take any actions or defend against attacks until his next oh, turn. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's kind of a bummer. Yeah, I guess. Yep, and he's only down to one body point as well, so he's in a yeah. bad way. Yeah, in that spot right now. Okay, my turn. Well, time to kill him. I guess. <laughs> it's what we do. And there's no defense. One skull. Got him. Oh. Oh. There goes the crossbowman. No! no. We're very, it's very sad right now. Yeah. If this were another movie, he would say, by Grobthar's hammer, you will be avenged. <laughs> oh. A big cross on him. Okay, let's see what the other one does. All right, let's see. One eliminated, so one, two, three, four. Yeah, attacking the wolf. It's protected. Okay. One skull. Okay, the wolf only defend with two. Hmm, nothing. How many damage did you... One. Oh, one. Okay, so the wolf goes down to four. Oh, someone redeemed a, po a potion. Frank? Yeah. Everybody liked him. No, not Frank. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Jacer J says that the, the potion was for... Oh, for the crossbow. Man. Okay, well, but here's the thing. I still have to draw the card. So if it was a healing potion, it'll save him. If it's anything else, it's not going to matter. Okay. Yeah. So let's. It makes sense. Yeah. Oh. He was a good dude. Yeah. Oh, it's a potion of resilience. Well, it missed a collection of old bottles and earthen jugs. You find a small clear vial of potion of resilience. Be taken at any time. You used to roll two extra defend dice. Okay, I'm feeling generous. So technically, he would have defended with nothing. With this, okay. he would defend with two. Okay. Okay. So it was one die. Uh, Let's see if he can roll. Go ahead, roll two dice. If he gets any white dice. shields, he's, like, he's alive. I like when Zargon is generous. <laughs> one shield. Ching. Okay. Ooh. He's alive. He's still there. He's still there. The barbarian was very concerned, like, no, don't leave me! <laughs> and he made it somehow. 
Frank. He was still in the ballpark. Yep. All right. Okay. Okay. All so, right. Your turn. Yes, the, the barbarian is going to attack the ice cream in front of him. Okay. Two skulls. Not too bad. No defense. That's good. Got him. He is dead. Ooh. Nice. Nice. You've eliminated the ice cream. Hey. Oh, the wolf is going to attack the other one then. I'd like to take a moment to reflect on Frank's bravery, says Savage Sully. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've not seen such bravery. Only one, family. one skull. Okay. Yeah, because that one's still fresh. It's been in the freezer all day. <laughs> one damage. Okay. That's good. And and now the crossbowman could step towards. The ice cream lane, right? Yeah, he wakes up. Okay. Balancing unsteady on his feet, but he's he's there. Okay. So moves one and let's see if he lands on something else or not. So far so good. That's good, okay. I've not, not seen such bravery. All right, he's firing. Yep, he goes two skulls. No defense. Okay, got him. Okay, the crossbowman is doing great. He's there. Can the barbarian give a potion to the close bowman? Like he's gonna have following to, the rules. He's gonna have to move over there. Yeah. Okay. Is that considered an action? Giving the potion? No. Okay. So I'll search for traps first. Okay. Uh, no traps. Although that ice does look pretty slippery. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to avoid that, and the barbarian is going to towards uh, the crossbowman, and he will give him a potion of healing. All right, are you going to give him your one d six? I have or... one, a one d six, and then you got two one d sixes, and. <laughs> Is that it? I think that's it. You oh, got, okay. You got the superior restoration, but I, I mean, assume you'd save that for yourself. Yeah, the superior restoration gives me all the points back, right? The that's right. body points back. Right. Uh, no, I'm not going to waste it because, you know, he has one body point and you can only max out at two. Okay, so you're not going to give him a potion yeah. after all? No. No, I prefer not. Okay. Okay, so Frank, I guess that... Frank's oh. such, a, such a guy, he doesn't even care. He's just like... He doesn't care. I understand. I understand. <laughs> okay, so let's put both the wolf and uh, uh, crossbowman close to the door without opening it. Like so. <laughs> Elviler makes a necklace out of the ice cream with teeth. Can we give feats to Mercs? That's an interesting. Uh, that's an interesting question there, uh, Savage Sully. I would say yes. Um, and, uh, just as a hero can do an uncommon feat with a fifty percent chance of success, so too could a mercenary. But you're going to have to give me what the feat would be. And of course, if you guys in the chat want him to do it, you're going to have to redeem it. If, uh, do my mentalto, I mean, the uncommon feats are a house rule, so okay. I guess we could just say let the chat decide. 
Yeah, is that fair? Not? So I would just say when you when you redeem it in the chat, just uh, type out your what you think you should try. All right. Okay, so you've all moved. Uh, I have no monsters, so it's your turn again. Yes. Well, the common feat was Same. redeemed. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's redeemed. Yeah. Okay, I guess that the barbarian uh, will move towards the door and open it. He can move eight. <laughs> There's two uncommon feats. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay. That well, um, you guys in the chat want to explain what, what you want him to do, or do my mentalto, I guess you have the opportunity. Of course, what, what would it be? I guess your imagination could decide. I don't know, let's see if this, okay. Think of something uh, you'd want to do in a game, and I'll tell you if it's possible. For the crossbowman? Yeah. Mm, something in the room? I don't know. I mean, the, the sky's kind of the limit. Oh, okay. So he can do anything. It's like a role-play game move. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, and it'll be a die roll, a 50% chance if it su succeeds or fails. Okay. So he would like to... Um, <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So the Ice Gremlin, uh, looking at the picture, he has like uh, a red uh, uh, ribbon on his arm. Hmm. Uh, and he, he would like just to get it and put it on his head uh, like ah. a bandana, something like that. Rambo. Okay. Rambo. Rambo style, yeah. All right. Okay, so roll, roll a combat die. And tell me what hey. you got. Yeah, that's cool. All right, you succeeded. So he uh, ties it around his head, Rambo style. I don't think I have oh. any Rambo uh, quotes or music. <laughs> I will always remember this specific ice gremlin. He yep. was the one that almost killed him. Yep. Your worst nightmare. Hey. Frank. All right. <clears throat> Excellent. Okay. Um, <laughs> Jacer J. So he's saying, make a necklace out of ice gremlin teeth. Cannot be robbed by ice gremlin. <laughs> Plus one comma die on next attack. Um, well, you you have one more feat that you could use. Yeah. I like that. Which, which one? The the plus one combat die in the next attack. Yeah, why not? Okay. Yeah. All right, roll uh, one combat die. If it's a skull, you get it. Oh. Nah, it's a shield, unfortunately. Ah. Uh, it's a black shield. Black shield. Mm. Yeah, good idea, though, guys. Okay. Yeah. All right, uh, Barbarian. Okay, so he's, she's moving towards the door. Gonna open it. See what's there. Oh, open it first. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Yeah. Through the doorway, you see a couple of things. Stone wall, double block. Just gotta wait for the camera to catch up. And you also see a hideous creature. Right like here. always. Is that a mummy? Yeah. Okay. 
So yeah, I guess that he's going poor mommy. Gonna attack it. Alright. Hey. She's gonna do that. She doesn't land on something, like always. Alright. You rolling your attack? Yep. The barbarian misses. Missed. Oh, uh, okay. Well, the wolf is going to go towards the mummy and attack diagonally. Four. All right. I got to read you something here. Before that happened. Oh. Mm. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Where is it? Note. A large white wolf raises its head to the sky and opens its maw, but no sound escapes. Its body is more bone than fur, and it glares at you from hollow eye sockets lit by a dull purple glow. This monster is a wolf mummy. If Snowdasher is with the hero, which she is, she howls with mourning and rage. So this was once a, a wolf is now a mummy. Oh. All right. So you're attacking? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I feel bad for the wolf, but it's nothing that I can do. Uh, do I do I have a potion that turns a, a wolf into a human? Will this interesting? Work in this case? Interesting. So I guess they would just instead of being a wolf mummy, they would be a human mummy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well. <laughs> If it's still a mummy, I'm not gonna waste it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I tried. Okay, the wolf <laughs> attacks. Ooh, three out of three this time. Three skulls. All right, so mummy attacks. Defends with four. Three skulls. Yeah. Ooh, ching, and then <laughs> destroyed. Okay. Ooh, that's nice. All right. That's nice. Well, whatever curse it was under, it's, it's, uh, that piece now. Hmm? Put it out of its misery. Yeah. Okay. So I guess the the crossbowman <laughs> is going to skip his turn, and then uh, the barbarian will she will look for search for traps. Okay. All right. We got some commentary in the chat there. Um, Ice gremlin zombie trying to get teeth back. Nice attempts to gum you to death. <laughs> no teeth. Um, okay, there's no traps. Oh, but I forgot to put out another door here. There is a doorway um, here. At the end of the corridor, there is a door. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I have to go in 10 minutes, so I guess that the barbarian is going go back towards the the room like the um go back the, the first door yeah okay and leave the quest all right one two three four five six seven eight all right what about the other characters crossbow yeah, can open the doors but the wolf can't I guess that they can all follow the barbarian okay. and go back. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, it's your turn again. You just want to keep keep going? Yeah, just keep going towards the, yeah. the, the honor, honor system. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Wait, am I going the right way? Ten. Yeah, I am. Yeah. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, and. I guess we're just gonna keep on keep on the trucking. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And remembering that there's still a trap there. Eight. Uh, mm -hmm. Eight. Yeah. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're just kind of plot plunging along. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I guess unless unless you stop to search, there's really nothing to oppose you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Didn't knock everything askew. One, two, three, four. Oh. Wait a minute. Get off track here. Let's see. Oh, I forgot there was a door that I removed. <laughs> um, let's see, where was that door? Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Six, seven. Ah. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have to remember where those traps were. One, two, three, four. I'm going to make you search again for traps. Okay. Of course, yeah. Why not? All right. I'm not sure what I did with my tiles. So we're just going to say um, there's three suspicious yeah, looking. I remember. Yeah, there were three in that room. Three suspicious looking. I'm just going to use skull tiles in this case, just because I put my those tiles away foolishly, thinking that I wouldn't need them again. All right, those are the suspicious squares. All right, so where's the wolf? It's going to maneuver around those one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Crossbowman. One, two, three, four, five, six. Back to I you. feel bad for the the crossbowman that is so slow that he can't keep up with the other hands. All right, so you're continuing on your way, right? Mm -hmm. One, two, yeah. three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The wolf. First to go to safety. One, two, three, four, five. Da, 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 da. Crossbowman one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, barbarian one, two, three, four, five. Last chance. Yeah, that's fine to Head. go out. Heading out of the quest. Oh. Um, da, 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 another da, da. One, two, three, Started. four, five, six. Yeah, the anti-climax. And I guess it's this turn anyone. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. And now everyone has successfully escaped the quest. So you made it out of there with your healing. Yeah, you have two healing 1d6s. Yeah, healing potions. Yeah. Potion of alchemy, oh. magic resistance, toolkit. Uh, helmet. Helmet, yeah. Longsword, bracers. bracers. Yeah, the long sword too. Yeah, and you had yeah. a total of 250 gold, I believe, right? Yep. Yeah. And a potion of battle rage. And you, you know, I think it was pretty, pretty tough. Like, if I didn't have uh, some of like the, the help from the people from the chat, and if <laughs> I didn't have uh, the crossbowman, helped a lot. Yeah. So, so despite yeah. this being this introductory quest, it's still a decent challenge, wouldn't you say? Yeah, it, it's very challenging. Mm -hmm. For one sec, I thought that I was going to die. Yeah. It, I didn't start great. <laughs> At the beginning, it was straight, like, 
Yeah, a lot of bad rolls. One, one score, yeah. And so it's like, oh, man. Yeah, well played, well yeah. played. Well, you know, it's they say it's the gambler's fallacy. You know, it's like, oh, man, I'm on a winning streak. It's like, no, every yeah. time you roll the dice, it could be different. So you never know. Yeah, unless somebody's true. cheating. I just... <laughs> yeah. I hope, I hope that uh, I didn't miss many things from this quest. Uh, well, you know, there are a couple things that I noted, if I could give it my mini review. So I thought mm -hmm. this was an interesting quest that definitely used a lot of the elements from the Frozen Horror. So it wasn't just a generic quest. It could be anything. They did not put any traps on the other side of open doors. I noticed mm -hmm. that. So that's like a cheap shot that happens a lot later in the game. Um, mm, they yeah. used the tiles. The They weren't too crazy with... I mean, the, the the ice tunnels don't hurt you. I mean, some quests, they have that. Like, you take, can take damage going through them. It wasn't the case here. Oh. Um, there was a, a trap that you... Well, there's several traps that you didn't trigger. Of course, you were careful to search. I actually goofed up one spot. I was supposed to give you some treasure from the tomb room, and I forgot to do that. So I just threw all that treasure in the later room uh, with the boss okay. fight. So, yeah. But other than that, I, I played it, you know, exactly the way it was written. Um, it's pretty interesting. And they threw in a couple of curveballs, like the the polar war bear that just kind of goes goes away and doesn't really attack you. Yeah, that that, that I I didn't know what to do. I was like, okay, yeah. I guess that I free him and that's it. Yeah, I was thinking like, well, but what if you attack him? I figure, well, it would make sense that he would fight back in that case. But if you didn't, yeah. he would just. He would just leave. And I guess that this doesn't like have any anything else to do with other quests, but it would be nice if like this same uh, polar war bear appears in a little quest, little ah. quest, and helps you because you free him, you know. And uh, yeah, like now Andrew he plays won't... in the lion, yeah. So yeah, why, why not? Yeah. That yeah. would be nice. Uh, I don't know if they ever do anything about it, but. Hmm, an idea for Zargon to yeah, tuck away me. into his uh, pointy wizard hat. Think about, yeah, yep. Yeah, and and uh, that... the the the, uh, the the wolf could accompany you on future quests again if there's a spot for him. If there's less than four heroes, yeah. But you know the f the next quest is the first, uh, yeah, frozen horror quest and. Uh, now I feel that with an helmet, prisoners, the long sword, and a few potion of healing, yeah, the barbarian is better prepared. Much better prepared. Well, mm -hmm. and with the solo quest, he would. Ah! We're playing the music. Pop and circle the dance. So, uh, a subscription. We don't get uh, copyright strike for this. <laughs> Pomp and circumstance <laughs> should be should be there. Okay, so Strange Bus gifted one subscription. Well, thank you. That was very generous. You're welcome. Ah, he's back. How you doing tonight? Good. Running super late, but I'm good. Okay. Well, do my Montalto was just leaving. He just accomplished uh, a successful completion of Into the Northlands. And he uh, yeah. managed to escape with the help of the HeroQuest fans in the Twitch chat. Thank uh, you so much, guys, for, for the help. Yeah. Nice. And, and thank you so much for having me on your Twitch channel. I, I really yeah. enjoyed it. Thank you again. Yeah, no problem. Do you have any uh, anything you want to plug? Any website, channel, anything that you do that you want to share? No. No, I... I just like the game and I search for news everywhere, every day for <laughs> quite a bit. But yeah, I'm not a creator. I don't have like any YouTube channel or anything like that. But we can find you in the HeroQuest fans Discord. Yeah, yeah you can always find me. I'm on like almost any social media on the name Domi Montalto. You can always find me there and uh, I'll be help happy to talk about hero quest or anything else and what was that other what was that other game that you played uh 
Oh, I, I, I play some uh, Warhammer Fantasy role play. Ah. Yeah, but the other game that I told you before was uh, The Legend of Zargon, something like that. Or Zagor or played something Zagor like that. Or whatever it was. I, I was. That was actually the thing that main introduced me to, to Hero Quest. Oh, I'm very happy that I played right. that back in the day. Nice. All right. Well, I'll let you go. Have a great night. Thanks for joining us in Hero Quest fans. Thank you so much, guys. Have a good night. All right. Take care, man. Take care. Bye. Bye. All right. Well, uh, we did block out another hour. So, Strange Bus, what do you think? Uh, I don't, I don't <laughs> even know. I didn't even have enough time to simulcast. It was one thing after another this evening. Oh, that's all right. I would have been here an hour earlier, but... Oh. Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't sure if you were going to show, but <laughs> I'm glad you did. Um, so this is all in the new system. So as you may have heard, my laptop took a took a dive. So um, it's not repaired yet, and I have a brand new system. And so far, it's served me well. Yeah, this, I'm uh, watching it right now. I like I said, I didn't have enough time to simulcast. I'm uh, watching it on my laptop. So yeah. Um, Looks pretty good. Yeah. So has the overlay updated? What's that? Oh, it looks like you got a new overlay too. Yeah, that's uh, L. Vilers. Um, he uh, gave us a scarier looking orc there. <laughs> the one that I've been using up to no. now, he is kind of the friendly, like grinning orc. You know, some people talk about oh. lore changes. Um, in the uh, the original Hero Quest um, game book, it said that the uh, the orcs. Uh, delight in cruelty and slaughter. I think it's what it says. But then in the uh, released version, the remake, they just said like they're fierce warriors. It's like, ah. <laughs> but in these uh, free quests that Doug Hopkins have been, has been making, he, he re-emphasized <clears throat> the fact that they do delight in cruelty and slaughter. So the the classic orcs are back as far as, as far as I'm concerned. It's canon, guys. It's canon. Accept it. <laughs> Whether or not they've Indeed. enslaved the goblin tribes is up to you. But I do think it's interesting that the goblin artwork does depict them with a broken shackle. So maybe they were freed. Who knows? Because, you know, you start to feel sorry for the goblins. It's like, oh, man, they, they didn't even want to fight. But now they do, maybe. <laughs> well, um, we do have probably a good hour left and see i always estimate it wrong but at least an hour of the glacial gate left to play if you want to see it to its end but if you'd rather talk about other stuff we could just kind of fill the rest of the time here easily enough i just hey don't man. think we can start a brand new quest at this point i was yeah i was gonna say i uh it's uh it's your show it's your bus i'm just riding it ah me. yes so <laughs> Yeah, everybody check out the Strange Bus, uh, twitch.tv slash the Strange Bus, also on YouTube, the Strange Bus. And you've been posting the rant casts. I've seen those. Um, yeah, I, uh, I've i been pretty busy lately. <laughs> yeah, you've been editing, it, and yeah, it's. Uh, um, I had a. Uh, I reposted them all, actually, um, nice. between the rant cast and the Hero Quest uh, simulcast. So. Um, if anybody, I know you guys will check those out, but if um, I did an edited version of all all the Frozen Horror uh, quests that um, I simulcasted, oh, nice. that I took part in. So, and I think I did all the quests up to now. I think I missed one, one part. Yeah, um, yeah. there was one. And, and then this one. But um, I was there for pretty much still all four quests. Um, and then the uh, tabletop simulator one was yeah. just recently updated, um, and those were edited. So pretty much our setup was was edited, and um, there's some music for a lot of that. Um, so that and the rant cast, I just edited out our our ad break. <laughs> so yeah, uh, but yeah. besides that, um, yeah. That's that's pretty much all I would say. Go check out, man. I am digging those camera angles, though. Oof. Oh, thanks. 
Yeah, I can still only have three cameras at a time. I'm not sure why the limitation. Uh, but look um, at this. Yeah, I got a, I got I... a handheld now. So I've been using that. It's not ideal. Like I wanted to have four cameras, like one in every quadrant. Uh, and be able to switch back and forth, so that's why it's kind of like zoomed out. And is it a quite... is it a power thing, maybe or? I don't think so because I've got my uh, power strip. I mean, maybe my USB hub is like since it's like an older kind of model, maybe it's not like efficient with my new tower. <clears throat> which I'm not sure why that would be the case, but yeah, it's like I can uh... only plug. I, can, I have two cameras plugged into the the hub, and then I have one camera plugged into the tower. But the one plugged into the tower can't be on simultaneously. Or wait a minute, what am I saying? No, there's there's three. But if I plug two into the tower and two into the hub, then one of the ones just doesn't work. And it's like the last one that gets plugged in like overrides. So there's like, for some reason, I don't know if that's a limitation of OBS, limitation of the hardware or what. Could be, or it could be, it depends on how much you have plugged into the the hub to could yeah, just I mean, be not enough power how much power does each one actually use versus how much does it generate um, i don't know the oh, uh Fubar just had tabletop a yeah tabletop sim is great for you see i'm 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 i got a lot of people on my side with that that tabletop sim yeah. stuff well now that it now that it works like i badmouthed it for so long <laughs> Now that the, now that it actually works, so I was looking through, and I think when you were like learning it on the fly with Azure teaching you, and you had your first run as Zargon, which I thought was pretty awesome. Um, that's that's why I don't have that video because that was all tabletop simulator because my system wasn't working. So thank you so much for doing that. Um, the mercenaries aren't in yeah, there. No There's no mercenaries whatsoever. So you could either use generic dudes like we did, or you'd have to grab besides hero quest master edition one of the other editions <clears throat> like there's one i think that is just solid color miniatures and it has the actual mercenary ones so fubar says question on the frozen horror it moves normally but takes up a two by two is a thought that it moves one square or two square since it is a two square creature i assume like all creatures well the frozen horror like all monsters is a fixed movement and it doesn't matter how big the miniature is it's just like it's similar to Space Crusade. You just use the front of the miniature as like the guide and just move the number of squares. So he can move eight squares. So if that makes sense. So let's see. I could just demonstrate it here. So let's pretend uh, these two monsters... Or no, I'll just use squares to demonstrate it. That's easier. Okay, so let's just look at the center room here. So let's say that's the... Uh, that's the Frozen... That's, this is the classic Frozen Horrors 2. The new one, the remake, it's four. So let's say he's going to move one square. It'd just be like one, two, <laughs> get it? Three, four. You know, that's how he moves around. If all four cameras are plugged into the hub, it's probably taking up too much bandwidth for the USB bus. Possibly. Yeah, because they're all... It's a USB 3, but... Yeah. I don't know. They probably don't... use up a certain amount of power. I don't know how much voltage each individual camera uses. I guess it would be printed on there somewhere, on like the cord itself. I mean, these are just cheap cameras, except for the document reader and the Okio cam. Those are like good quality ones. I mean, relatively speaking, compared to... You know, I didn't spend hundreds of dollars on them, but the like the the handheld camera and my tripod are just like cheap cameras, like you get at Walmart. Um, I use TS in a oh, tabletop simulator in a house with second screen for our home games with kids. Oh, cool. See if if invested in it can be a good tool, I think, and um, you know. Uh, for those of uh, you who did watch that stream, um, I think I mentioned that I was, uh, that I got um, I got invested in the Star Wars role playing game back in the day, and I, I um, referenced that a lot when I did um, mm -hmm. my Star Wars D and D. Well, if I uh, if you remember, I, I told you my my book got destroyed in the that that flood that we had yeah. a, like five years ago. Well, I found um, 
a copy of the core rule book again the star wars role playing game core rule book the old one from 2000 that i owned nice. in really good condition on ebay for 25 bucks so i bought that That's so I, it came in uh recently and then a revised edition of the core rule book which i've been looking for for a long time that was a little bit more expensive about 35 40 um, in good condition, and that was from O2. Has a little bit of uh, stuff referencing expansions and whatnot. Mm -hmm. uh, so I got a hold of that as well. And um, uh, really excited because now I've got stuff to reference for Star Wars D&D. So I'm thinking once I get, um, get uh, kind of back into that a little bit more, I might go into doing tabletop sim for like using pieces and boards and maybe do like a star Wars D and D session. If some people are up to it. Um, yeah, well, but a uh, quick question then. Um, Cause I was a little distracted as I was putting stuff away. So, but you would use your regular set for that, wouldn't you? Or would you use tabletop simulator for the star Wars? Well, see, unfortunately I don't have as much equipment as you do. Like cameras and whatever, and I do not have the setup. I mean, got, I could probably use my laptop to do it. See, I've got but, quantity um, over quality compared to you. But <laughs> I mean, it would be more the fact that it would be more time-consuming to set up for me, and I could probably do it. Um, it would just take it take time. It'd be a special and, event if you did it. Um, yeah, and like something that I could probably do, and and tabletop simulator that would probably be a little bit more manageable for me. And yeah, I could probably demo it to see who would be interested. Oh yeah. And you know, you could do character sheets and whatever. People can manage that stuff. And yeah, um, I it would be fun. I would have I to take a little bit of a primer on it, but I mean, I kind of remember playing it. I don't know if it was the exact same edition. Actually, no, no, no it's not because it's the Saga edition. This is different. Yeah, so my my. Uh, my stuff is just D it's D and D three point five, yeah. with referencing the Star Wars role playing game, which is pretty much D and D three point five. But does well, it, the it, books for the Star Wars role game D sixes or is it or is it uh, Dungeons and Dragons dice? So it'd be yeah, it'd be D twenty. D twenty. Okay. Yeah. I could probably get the hang of it, and you don't play it necessarily <clears throat> straight either. You kind of no that's why i say i reference the core rule book reference it. so anything like any of the 20 something uh expansions that came with that or because they had like adventure books i think that like for like questing or doing anything else like that like uh they had like the jedi they had the jet like the jedi the book for like jedi uh jedi and smugglers and uh different classes or planets and stuff like that um you really kind of had to invest your time into that. And um, I just found a kind of a way for people to get invested without having to spend like their entire life on it. Yeah. I like it. So if you had a Monday, which is all we really had at the time, you had like a Monday morning or a Monday night to spend on D and D that was that then this was a, the game to play. It made it fun, innovative, and still used the basic rules. So, um, <laughs> and with the revised rule book, it'll make it a little bit, I think, a little bit better because there's some updated stuff in there. But yeah, I, I didn't want to buy the updated one. The updated one included just about everything all together, but the book itself is like 200 bucks. Wow. That's, that's a bit much for a, a game book. I was like, yeah, if I had 200 bucks, I'd just buy the Star Wars archives. So there you go. I just buy, like George, I just buy George Lucas, and I'd uh, have him just yeah. follow me around and like tell tell me, well, I always intended this. Well, that's pretty much what those are. Like you, you get the archive books, and like they're two to four hundred dollars a piece. Dang. And they're the the ones uh, the Star Wars archives from what like 77 to 83. Wow. It's a book that's like two to four hundred dollars, and then you get the ones for the prequels too. I just go to the library for like four or five hours, just sitting there like pouring through it. I mean, it'd be cool, especially if I, I don't was... know if they have them at the library though. I think they're they like armed guards that watch you while you. We yeah. Can't take any notes. Um, <laughs> no photographs. Um, 
What was I going to say? Um, did you ever look at a CD-ROM called uh, Star Wars Behind the Magic? Maybe a long time ago. Like 1998. This I is... really liked that. That was it was a CD-ROM. So this is before the. I mean, DVDs had just just started, really. But it was it was basically like that. It was like interviews. There was like text files, videos. There was like photographs of all the Star Wars action figures that released up to that time. I mean, there was just. A whole bunch of like fan stuff to like go through and it they did that one and then there was another one called the magic of myth which i'd never got and then there was episode one insider's guide and that was the last one after that they stopped doing them but they were fun because they just had a lot of material and somewhere out there you can probably get them dirt cheap probably have you guys LucasArts. dabbled with the broadsword rule expansions at all no some people were talking about that in the Discord. So yeah, broadsword. You ask what what the heck is that? So, as I understand it, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, it's it was a fan rule revision slash expansion for Hero Quest, and he decided to basically just change it around, and make it his own thing. Um, okay, so we do have some people to play. So I guess I would say, I mean, Strange Bus. I know you've been you've been trying to recover the last couple days, but do you want to join us for a game or? Um, for me, it's more the, f the fact that I came in super late and I actually do have a stream at 10 to do. Oh, shoot. So, okay. Well, um, and I don't want to take. Would, uh, yeah, I don't want to I'm here to join, though, to watch. Yeah. I can uh, yeah. join you guys. Well, Jacer, the event. I mean, if you guys want to try to finish the Glacial Gate, it, it's going to take at least an hour. So what do you want to do that? We could try to finish this quest here. Glacial Gate, four heroes. Here's what I can do if it, if you're if you're willing, I can be part of it. But um, would have to probably duck out here. Probably about half hour. Okay. All right. <laughs> um. So let me let me try to set it up quick here. I'm gonna stop the stream like said, and restart no pressure, it just to make, though. make it easier easier all right i'm gonna be right back guys 